Oh, I hope everything went well. Of course, the good thing is I'm here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'll meet my boss lady best. Babe, mm -hmm. what the hell are you doing with my sister? Your sister? Yes, my sister. L Lady Best is your sister. What's going on here? <laughs> is, is this the client you were talking about? Uh, yes, Lady Best. This is Melvin, Mr. Melvin, my my boyfriend. Lady what? She's she's my boss, Lady Best. Are you telling me that that lady that just left here is your boss? Yes. She's my boss, the one I've been telling you about. That's Lady Best. Lady B, I am sorry. I didn't know your relationship with him. I came so we can talk things over. With who? You? <laughs> you know what? I regret now why I even helped you in the first place. Because you do not deserve it. You are so ungrateful. Listen to me. If you want peace in your life, if you love peace, Leave my brother alone. I do not want to see you around my house or around my brother. He is the only thing that means the whole world to me in this life. And I do not take his affairs for granted. Be warned. Lady B, I am sorry it is not possible. Even if I want to leave your brother, your brother will not want to leave me. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Same old story. Where do I go from here?
Amanda. Alison, no. I did fine, no. Just so. You know, with the look on your face, I believe it's the same old story. My dear, you're right. It's the same old story. I don't understand what went wrong. Because I was so sure of this one. I was too sure I was getting this job. Just like that. Now my mother, my brother, they are both waiting to hear good news from me. Hmm. Look at me now, the same old story. They didn't give me the job. Oh, wow. Hey, what kind of temptation is this one? But, Amanda, you know, eh? Currently, nobody works with certificates anymore. People just have certificate because it's necessary. You see, Amanda, if you ask me, I would suggest you either learn a trade or a handwork. I might as well come with you way forward, to be honest with you. Alice, you have a point. But me learning a trade, I need money. I will pay the person that will teach me the trade now or teach me the handiwork. I need money to learn anything. It's not for free now. So where do I get the money? It's the same, it's the same thing. And then the people that are supposed to give me the job, even with my excellent certificate, they are not even giving me the job and they are not looking at it. They all want to sleep with me. Nobody is interested in if you are if you are qualified. They are more, more interested in how you can open your legs, how wide you can open it. That is just the point. Eh? It, will it will shock you that these men don't have a job to offer you. They don't have anything to offer you. They just want to take advantage of you. To be honest with you. Huh. You're not far from the truth though. Yes, no. Because from the look of things, they were not even interested in my certificate. They were more interested in your physical appearance and how wide you can open your leg. My dear, you just have to keep trying, eh? That is the only advice I can suggest for now. I hope we more call to be frank with you. Look at me now, HND holder, yet a common POS attendant. Oh sure, Korogi. I don't know what to do. I need some time. You don't have to be tired. To be honest with you, eh? You need to be very strong. This time, you should be very strong and never to give up. Oh. Did you go one me? Have you eaten? Vera, who was that guy you were talking to? And you left me unattended to. What's the meaning of that? What do you mean by that? I told you I wanted to use the ATM. Only for me to come back to find you talking to that guy. And he was even tickling you. He's my church member. Your what? My church member. And when was the last time you visited the church? Well, I do online service. Online what? Are you telling me you met that guy on the online service? Vera! Listen, you should respect yourself. Enough of your unfaithfulness! You couldn't even make a proper introduction there. You can't and I said it all. Well, I didn't know what to say. Really? You can deal with your insecurities. Just wow. Well. But you sent for me. Yes, I did. You see something that gets me pissed every time? When you pick someone from the gutters to feed them, clothe them, they forget where they're coming from and want to buy the hands that feed them. You see, Matilda? I will deal with her. I will make sure I squeeze out the life in her and then she'll be lifeless. That's a promise. Ma, please, I'm sorry. I'll talk to her. Well, I do not care. What I will do is what? Hello. 
my guy, how far? I'm beautiful, I'm good, what's up? Really? Chief is in town. <laughs> nice, nice, beautiful. So what do you want now? Come on now, speak to me. How many chickens do you want? You know, as a mother hen, I really love chicken. So just speak. You want 12, one dozen, 24? Just say, mention. Good, done, perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but one thing, my guy, one thing, my money. I should see the alert first. Then everything will follow suit, you understand? Good. As, you know, lady best, I love money. It makes me honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. Okay, my love. Thank you so much. My guy, you too much. Thank you so much, my guy. Nothing do you. Are they here for you? I full ground. You understand? Are they okay? Thank you. All right. <laughs> it's soft. You know, when I hear money, my, my soul lives for joy. You understand? She is in town with his friends. Yeah, so he needs some chickens. So you have to go and arrange some of them, you know, to satisfy him. And I trust you to do that. So please go and do that fast. I will. Arrange it for me. Good. Thank you. Thank you, my girl. I love the sound of money. It makes me honey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Money. Dave. Melvin. I'm really sick and tired of this girl's behavior. I mean, she's not faithful. At all. She's not. Melvin, I find it so hard to understand you sometimes. How do you mean? What is wrong with you, man? What's your problem? Sometimes you behave as if you're not a man of this generation. Hmm? Bro, discard that babe. Forget about her. Move on to the next girl. Hmm? And stop this your attitude of keeping one girl. What is it with you with this one girl, one man relationship? Hmm? You know how my previous relationship went? Yes. That was so much. I don't know why she doesn't see it that way. I don't know why. She treats me the way she does. You are the reason she treats you that way, bro. You are the reason, the architect of your failure. Yes. Listen. If you make this girl to believe that if she misbehave, you move on to the next girl, or the third, the fourth or fifth girl, trust me, she will start to behave herself. But you're always giving them the wrong impression about you. Yes. That's why they are behaving the way they are. Please don't. They're just playing with your heart as if you know your own football. Come on. Don't, don't, don't say this, please. Don't. Come on, man. All of this sense that you're saying right now doesn't make no sense to me. Really? Yes. I'm not like you. Mm. <laughs> I can't be with any other girl out there apart from my girl. All right? I stick to one girl. That is me. I can't be like you, man. It's not fun. No, you need to be like me. You know what? You need to jump ship and start behaving like me. That's what will stop you from looking this miserable because of love. Just look at yourself. One man, one woman. Listen, you be my guy. You are my friend. A woman well placed. And I want the best for you. Okay? Mm. Let me give you 10 girls. I'll organize them for you, okay? Just for you to enjoy yourself. And forget about that stupid girl. 
Just then, I can arrange that. Stop this, Dave. I can't be like that. Stop. Huh? Right now, you need to stop. All right? Melvin. Just 10. I, I, I didn't say 20. I said yes. stop. Bella and Angel. Yes, Mama. Mama. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys remember the rules. Hmm? Yes, No stealing. Just go there and simply satisfy them. Mm -hmm. No lady best will not want to take any rubbish or any complaint coming from you guys. Mostly you, Bella. Mama, trust me. I'm going to deliver this time around. It's a promise. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mama. Trust us. We'll do our best. Good. And as for you, Bella, I do not want to hear any complaint. You won't. Trust me. I'm going to write on him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Yeah. What's that? Yes. What is this? Keep quiet. Why you you want your person property? Of course not. The way is that is how you're going to do it. You will cool down and do it when you get there. You look into him, relax, chest out. When you chest out, you look direct on him. No, that blah blah. What you do? When you finish, hold the property. You cool down. Cool down. Yeah, you roll it. When you're done, good, you sit on him. Don't like to sit on him. You first finish work on top, sit on him. You will pound it. You go to go slow motion. You guys will pound it. Then you peg him. You go, yeah, ah! You were so I'm not joking, no. Uh, let me practicalize it. Let me show you. So you know, it's a bit of work. I'll grab him like this. Good. Good. And you, madam? I'll grab him. Oh, yes. Like this. Oh, my God. Like this. It's okay. Don't scream. It's okay. Okay. Okay, good. I want good results. Okay. Mama, go there. Go tell me. Say, small yard, they shake. Of course. Small yard, they shake. Yes. Mama, see your police system. No, they, no, they show this front. Show oh me your back. Dang. You go bounce them. Small yash, they shake. Yes. You go, they go. Small yash, they shake. Good. Okay. Good luck to you guys. Thank you, Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama, the mama. Yeah, you get from us now. Mama, we're going to the girls. Small yash, yeah. they shake. Let me see that. Small yash, they shake. That's my girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, shower. These girls are crazy. <laughs> Bella. <laughs> So they did leak, huh? How are you? Time to sleep, yeah? Oh, but your office, you're not there. You 
you're still here. Why? I had a lot to drink last night. I'm still having hangover. I do not remember having a drunkard as a brother. So when did this one start now? Wait a minute. Oh. Your girlfriend, right? Again? Seriously, you, are, you, you are so emotional. I do not like it. Why? What is this? I'm sick and tired of all of this. Seriously. I'm tired. Man. This thing is just not working. Then let it go. Let it go. Please. You do not force things to happen. You only try your best. And if it's not working, you let it go. I, like, I don't get it. There are so many girls out there who would love you for who you are and will stay put where you keep them. I don't get it. What is this? Th that girl. I should talk to that girl. If she's in, let her be in. If she's out, then I get out. It's too much. Don't worry about that. Okay, I'll, I'll handle it my way. Alright? Mm. I'll handle this, I promise you. That's what you always say. And then you end up being like this. First of all, let me just get something to eat first. Because you are a mess of yourself. I will grateful, you know. Definitely I'm famished. famished. And I know I'm your wife, yeah? You're famished. Don't get your wife. Very hungry. Very soon I'll be done picking the rice. I'll go and cook. Oh, mom. Oh, no. Mama, I'm not hungry. I am not hungry. Mama, have you thought about. Have you thought about sister? We've not heard from her lately. Hmm. I've not heard from her lately. And you know, late registration is going to cost me a lot. I know. Been thinking as well. But don't you think we should give her more time? You know she's trying to get a job. Odi Akwanezi, jobs are not available. More time, Mama. Mama, what time are you talking about? Mama, you know we don't have time. I mean, I've been thinking when we when will Amanda have a job and then get paid before she will not start looking after my affairs. Mama, I don't know. I'm just I'm just thinking a lot. Be positive. Be positive and say positive things. Wait a minute. Are you praying for her not to get the job? Ah. No, no. You're the one who's haunting her. No, no, no. No, you know, you know I, can't, I can't think such such thing for my sister. Mama, see, I am just being concerned here. Even I was even thinking of leaving school and go and look for trade and learn. Yes, now, if, if that's the only way, it will, it will ease the stress on her. What is it? You cannot leave school. You cannot abandon your school. You cannot abandon your dream. You cannot abandon your life. That education has always been your life. Now that you're talking about learning a trade, we don't have anybody to, 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 to give us such assistance. I don't have anybody. We don't have anybody. Are you thinking about learning a trade? Do you know what it means to learn a trade? We well, you phone you, mm -mm, we just carry you to go and teach you business. At the time of uh, inspiration of your turn up with the person, where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Is that what you want for yourself? No. Get that for a good wish. Best man, see you as fresh meat. Get stop at the point. She will stop at the point. No effect. But it's just a normal young boy calving. Uh, yes. You, joke, you don't have money yet, you're calving. You're waiting for somebody else to bring money yet, you're calving. Come on, you know what I mean? Happy, Maka. That boy, what I let me cook this rice. I'm hungry. Since you say you're not hungry, let me eat. <laughs> I don't want to laugh, but you made me laugh. Uh, I wanted to cry. Uh, I'm just very happy. Very happy. Very happy. Very happy. Very happy. Very happy. I'm just being concerned here. Yeah. I mean, this uh, registration is. And it's going late now. It's our concern. We're the ones paying, not you. 
It's, it's going to cost me a lot of money, Diego. You, I don't understand where the you is coming from. Go and boil water. Go and boil water. Ah. No, no problem, my friend. I just hope everything will be fine. God, where do I go from here? Everyone is saying the same thing. It's either they want to sleep with me or they want me to bribe them. How can I bribe someone to get a job? What kind of life is this? Huh? What do I do now? Is this how I am going to suffer for the rest of my life? Just when I thought I'll be able to get a good job because I graduated with good grades. No, it's not that way. How am I going to take care of my mother and my brother? How do I take care of my, my family? I'm sorry, ma. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Fine girl. Are you okay? Yes, ma. I'm 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 alright. I don't think so. Because I've, I've been blowing my horn here and then you were lost. Is something wrong with you? I'm I'm okay, ma. Please come close, come. Are you sure you're fine? Oh, okay. There's so much things to say in your silence. All right. Um, okay. Um, I'm going for a meeting now. I'm in a rush. Please just take my card and call me. Okay? Call me, please. Thank you very much. And please be very careful. Thank you. Very much. Be careful. Amanda, I understand your story fully well. You know why? Because we have similar stories. It's so unfortunate and so painful that um, men, men are not worth the stress. They are not worth the tears. They are not worth the pains. And that's what they want. And for me, I do not really give to F. I do not care. I give them what they want. And I get what I want in return. That's why I live my life now. And that's the way it is. You have to get what you want by giving what you have. It's so painful. But that's the world we live in now. It's a crazy world. The painful part is... I suffered. I worked hard. I went through hell to, to make sure I... I graduated with good grades. Only for me to now allow someone to take advantage of me just because I am looking for a job. So I said myself, I will I said to myself, I will never allow that happen to me. I can never allow myself to be used by one man just because they want to offer me something I know I am well qualified more than most people to have my brother is at the verge of losing his admission i have just two weeks to pay for his registration 
Yet I don't have a job. No one in sight. Every member of my family, everyone, is waiting for me to get a job because I am their only hope. It's not been easy. It's not been easy at all. Amanda, you just spoke about your brother now and it brought back memories to me. I got into this business because of my brother. I placed my life in pause because of my brother. We lost our parents quite early and my brother had only me to sponsor him through life. I had no choice than to place my life on hold for my brother. Everything I've been doing is for my only brother. But you know the very wonderful thing now is that my brother is living well. I'm happy I was able to fulfill that dream. My brother is so comfortable now and he practically worships me because I'm his benefactor. He does not joke with me. He's very comfortable now. And my dream has become a reality. So my darling, this is not your death sentence. It will only get better. I'm saying this to you from experience. I heard everything you said, man. I heard everything I, I... I appreciate the offer you gave me. But I'm sorry, man. I... I cannot... I cannot trade this path. I have come too far to to trade this path. Um, I understand. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> You're a very good girl. I see it, I know. And the thing is, you would meet good men, even in this line of business. Yes. Um, all I need to do is to just brush you up a little, just spice you up here and there, and that's it. You will get a good man here. Suffering will stop, and you will smile. If I wanted to get married, I would have through this business. So my darling, I repeat, this is not your death sentence. I would um, allow you go think about it. Think about it thoroughly. And when you're done, you can get back to me. I'll wait. Once again, thank you, ma. Thank you for the offer. I... And also, thank you for the hospitality. I have to go now, please. Thank you for coming. You'll be fine and stop crying, please. Thank okay. you. Have a nice day. You too. Listen, let me tell you, 
You don't have to blame her. To be honest with you, this is nothing but a bitter truth. Alice, how do I... How do I bring myself to do a thing like that? I know. No, when I want to tell my mother the new job I found, I'll now open my mouth and tell her what. It will break her. It will, like, it's, it's like me killing my mother myself. She'll be, she'll be so disappointed in me. I can't even do it. I can't. It's not even an option. How can you say that? But you know, this period is nothing but use what you have to get what you want. Yes, why are you looking at me like that? But she told you that herself. That was just the only way out. And she actually used that to achieve everything she has today. I don't know, I'm, I'm just saying. I have come too far in my life to go that low. If I wanted to do a thing like that, I would have done it way back in school. Oh. But at least I saw myself through school. It wasn't easy. I went through hell. I went, it wasn't easy, but I, 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 I did it. And to think that when I was in school, I thought coming out with first class would get me a quick job, a better job, make things easy for me. But here I am still looking for a job. Still trying to get a job, even with my first class. Okay, Amanda, listen. Amanda. I can hear you. You have a first class. Yes, we know that. But you don't have a father who owns a company. Both of us, we don't have a father that has a company. People like us, both of us, we are meant to suffer. We don't have connections. Currently in our country, the only thing we survive with is connection aside from money. I, I, I don't know. This is a cruel world. It is cruel. Indeed. The world is very bad. Doesn't really favor the poor. But I think you should give it a second thought. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on. I'm just saying, okay? You have to think about it first. There is nothing to think about. Okay, um, you know what? I'll be right back. Okay. I'm coming. You'll be fine, huh? Yeah. How did it go? I'm under no hope. The leader of the women's meeting said she's not going to give me the money. She refused. She said until I convince her on how I'm going to pay back the money. Hi. I have no hope of paying back now, so but she didn't release the money. Mama, it is my final year we are talking about. I know. Hmm? She should have just given you the money. Then after we can talk about the or, or talk about how to pay. It is not true. Yeah. How? Hi. No, how? How will I see the money to pay back? I don't have any means of paying back. And you know you need a lot of money to go back to school with. It is 300,000 we're talking about. Hi. Eh? Which <sighs> other means will I see to pay? I don't have anything anywhere. No savings, you know. Uh, in fact, who will be able to price us 50,000, let alone 300? No hope. Mama, this is serious. This is serious. We are talking about my final year here. Hey, I have come too far to just drop out of school like that. Not in my final year now. Hi. Amanda, can you go and come here? 
What do you want me to do? You said as if I'm wicked. Eh? Eh? Drop out, drop out. As you may go, I would have given you. Do you don't have any money anywhere. Sister? Sister? Um, Mama is calling you. Sister? 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 Hmm? Uh -uh. Ah. Sorry, uh -uh. I was lost in thought. I was thinking about something. Sister, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about how to go back to school. I have not paid my school fees. I have a lot of bills to pay in school. And Mama does not have money. And she has nobody to borrow from, so I don't even know where I'm going to start from. How do you mean by Mama don't have where to borrow money from? Why are we borrowing money? Do you we, have money? Uh, uh, but we have an empty land wasting. Which land? My land now. Let us sell the land. You take part of the money and go to school. The remaining one, me and Mama can use it here and manage ourselves. Okay, are you sure you know what you're saying? Sister, I know what I'm saying. Do you realize that that is the only inheritance you have? Sister, I know. But we can get this land in future. Yes. Sister, your education is more important. You need this money now. And I cannot sit down and watch you drop out of school in your final year. Oh, Pizzi, this is the only land Papa left for you. Sister, I know. Come on. But you need the money. You need it. I mean, it's just for me to sell the land. You go back, you finish up your, your, your studies. I believe after studies, you will get a good job. Come on now. You're sure? Yes, I am sure. You know I love you. You know I can do anything for you. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of the man you're going to be. I cannot believe you're doing this for me. Now listen. Thank you. And I make a promise to you today. I will always take care of you. Through your university, if you want to do masters, whatever it is you want to read in this life, I will be there for you. And when you are done, I will set you up in life. I will get you a good job. As long as I'm alive. I know you will do it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Come. Okay. Yeah, I love you. So, relax. Stop thinking. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama said I should call you. Uh, you know how Mama used to be here. She's coming already. Mama. Uh, where, where? Uh, Mom. Look who are here. Uh, yes, Mama. Mama, I called her. I called her. Uh, did she ask you now? Or Joe, okay? Mama. What are you people doing here? Um, Mama, Obeze has something to tell you. Obeze has something to tell me. Mm -hmm. no, Why I'm are you looking at me? Tell her now. I am listening. <laughs> um, Mama. Hmm? I have decided that we sell that land. Papa left for me. Let us sell it and help sister out. I can help you. That is the only thing we have. Your only inheritance. From your late father. Mama, I know. Let us sell it. The land is not doing anything there. I mean, we have roof over our head. What is the essence of keeping the land when we are in need of money? Let us sell the land. Give sister part of the money so that she can go back to school and finish up her studies. I cannot sit down and watch my sister 
drop out of school all because of money when we have land that is wasting. I believe when she's done, she will get a good job and that land will get it surplus. Please. Hey! Mama, stop this thing now. I'm going to Now you have spoken well. Thank you, my son. My God will bless you. Amen. Come on, not to go. Amen. <laughs> I'm so happy. Now, nah, thank you. You're welcome. That's the best thing we need to do. Mm. Yes. I can't, I can't yeah. sit down and watch my sister okay. get back to school now. Watch her. <laughs> Mommy, eh? Yeah. I, I don't, I don't like what your sister is doing here. Why, why are you guys laughing at me? Hey, you're a man now. Nah. You're not a what man. Oh, 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 Mama, <laughs> you don't have to keep thinking about this. Hmm? Is it good to say he will make a way where there seems to be no way? I am going to I am going to be Mama, I... I have to go back to the city. Because I cannot believe that even with my good results, I still don't have a job. And staying back in this village is no better. Because I need to get a very good job. I need to take care of you and Obiezi. But we're not complaining. Mama, you two are my responsibility. You have taken care of me. It is now my turn to take care of you. Especially my brother. He needs to go to school. Amanda. I want you to calm down. God will come to our rescue. Amen. I am not against you going to the city. But I don't want you to be under pressure. Eh? If Obiese does not go to school this year, every year there is a new year. He will go next year. Mama. By then, everything would have been fine. Mama, all his mates are in school. He needs to go to school now. I don't want him to stay at home doing nothing. And at what result in which the pussy school? Mama, it's not about results. I just have to try my best. At least let me go back to the city. I cannot get a job in this village. But you can marry. Is that a new life? It's an achievement. Mama, marriage is not an achievement. So you are, you are not talking down on me? How? <laughs> Mama, that's not what I mean. Marriage is good. But at least before a woman gets married, let her have something doing. I need to get a job. I, do you want me to get married and now carry all the responsibility of my family and heave it on top of a man? Because if I have something to do in my now, would I be providing money? Well, Mama, it's not about you now. Eh? It's about me. It's okay, okay. I'll get married if I see a husband. If we didn't know. You know, go. Mama. Mm. <laughs> Fine woman. God, please help me. Please come to my rescue. Please help me. <laughs> Andrew and Bella. Yes, Mama. Mama. Mm -hmm. You guys are really, really doing well. Thank you, Thank you Mama. Mama. Trust me. You know, our clients were so happy. Mm. They really said a lot of good things about you both. Mm. Trust me. <laughs> thank you, Ma. Mm. Our appreciation to be the best. Mama, you don't need to thank us because our client satisfaction is all top notch. Uh -huh. So, you're going to you can say that happy. again. Okay, um, mm -hmm. you both can have things. And... Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Mama. <sighs> I'm glad you guys are happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Don't worry, when I need you, but I'm gonna call you. Yeah, they're you. always ready for you. Anytime. I know. We are expecting.
Thank you, Ma. I'm on the girls. Among every girls. You see these two? Angel and Bella. They are very, very good in this. I will personally use them for my personal business. I will, Mama. I will. Just put me your prayers. All I need is your prayers. Amen. I know. Okay. Greet him for me, okay? Thank you so much, my man. Take care of yourself. No problem. I greet him for me. Bye bye. No. Oh. What? I believe that is your mother. <laughs> It's my sweet mother. Oh. It's my sweet mother. The woman I promised heaven and earth. And yet I am I am yet to get a job. Because I don't understand what life is without giving your loved ones a good life. I have made this woman a whole lot of promises. I was thinking I was going to be able to fulfill my promise to her immediately after school. Thinking I was going to get a job, a good one to make her forget all the years of her sufferings. But here we are, I'm still looking for a job. <laughs> Amanda, yes, dear. I'm not trying to advise you wrongly, but to tell ourselves the truth, you've tried, you've really tried your best, but I think this time you should use the available option. Yes, you don't have to be surprised. Okay, listen. You're not going to be standing on the road. This woman would definitely connect you to men that matters. It's just all about the connection and then you use your... You use what you have to get what you want. I don't know if I'm making sense at all. To tell you the truth, Alice, I am confused. Like you said, this is the only available option. Definitely. <sighs> you see, this house rent has expired. Yes. I know that look, but don't worry. My boyfriend has been promising me money to no avail. And you know me, I'm just an ordinary POS person. I can afford it. And for you, you need to give your brother a good life. He needs to go to school. You need to attend to mama. You are right. I have to do something quick. And I seriously need to do the needful. Because I have a feeling that if I... If I do it later than now, it might not mean anything in the future. True. Now you're thinking straight. And I'm happy about that. You see, sometimes in life, we are faced with challenges that would make us take a decision that we ourselves wouldn't like. Sister, 
She is yet to get a job. Then let her come back, Mama. Yes, let her come back. We can't find the solution in this village. You have not found the solution yet, have you? You are in this village. Don't you think the frustration will be too much? Yes, I need to weigh her down. In my opinion, I think it's better for her to stay there. And keep trying. Who knows? God might answer our prayers. So what are you doing? But I told Nola, he will still answer us. All the time. Anyways, what you said is true. I've never lost hope. I know God will still help her out. I know his mercies will be upon her. Whichever now, they can come, let's look for a solution in the village. You are in this village, you did not find the solution. You are waiting, waiting for or, or, or a girl to come back to the village. Can I to buy him? Mama, Mama, he be what? He be what? Amanda. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. And I want to say this to you from my heart. You just made the right decision. My dear, look. Henceforth, you will take good care of your family in a very classy way. Nobody will come to insult you, embarrass you, or even harass you that you came to beg money from them. So you are doing the right thing, my darling. Just that I am scared, Ma. This is the first time I I will have anything to do with a man. Really? Yes, ma. <sighs> wow. <sighs> wow. You, you must really be a very decent girl then. <laughs> you know, even girls in this era will tell you they are decent and you find that they are not even virgins. <sighs> wow. Um, my darling, listen. You'll be alright, okay? This is not the end of the world. You can even do these things, you know, in a decent way. And if you're lucky, you can even get a man that will marry you through this business. It's very possible. Never say never. You can never tell, do you understand? So just calm down. Everything will be fine. And I promise you, I'll get you a good client that will take very good care of you. That's a promise. All right. Yes, ma. Just be fine. Lizzie. Lizzie. Come, please. Ma, you sent for me. Okay, now we have a new person in our midst. Yes, um, Amanda. That's Lizzie. One of my most trusted girls. Nice to meet you, Lizzie. Welcome. Thank you. Please take her to the room and um, make sure she is dressed very beautiful on point because she's going to see a client. Okay, I will. This way, please. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. A virgin in this era. That's some good money there. <laughs> Lady Best. The sound of money makes me honey. 
You too like me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who is coming at me? Is this person an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely want to spoil our fun. Is it joy killer? <sighs> Hello. Mm. Hello, who is this? Mm. What? Why are you calling me at this critical moment? Are you okay? Uh, you know what? Let me call you back later. I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? Mm -hmm. Take me to Israel, okay? okay we'll apply I'll to Israel you. now. I'll take you to my oh, house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, God. Oh, are you enjoying it? Yeah. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, good. Ah. Yeah, good. Let's go again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is, is there nothing else? I mean, this cloth is undersized. Amanda, that's not true. Come on. My girl, you look beautiful, sexy, sassy. You know, this is the best dress for such event. You know, to reveal all the, you know, everything that attracts the men. You understand? You know, all the shabby, shabby, all the, you, know, you get me now? All those things, that, all those attractions. Look how you're looking. Oh my goodness. Look at your skin. Oh, you are you are big. Oh, <laughs> this is it. okay. By the way, I have, the, the cabman is outside. He has the address. He will take you to the hotel. Once you get there, tell the receptionist you want to see um, Elijah Gaba. Okay. Oh, okay, ma. Come on, Amanda. Please call me Lady Best. Okay, Lady Best. Good, perfect. And by the way. Let me say again, you look very beautiful. Thank you. Oh, it's revealing everywhere, you know, the laughs there, you know, it's, it's on point. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Sorry, I'm so sorry, Lady Best. Ma, be careful. I, I, I will get used to it. Better, you have to get used to it. Okay, get going. Okay, come on, it's outside. Come on, be free. You're looking very beautiful. You look so sweet. Yeah, thank you, Sorry. Uh, oh, Amanda. I am Lady Best. The sound of money makes me honey. Lady Best, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't control you. Jesus Christ. Allergy has money. Lady Best, he gave me a bundle of dollars. Don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Lizzie, I told you, yeah? <laughs> I did. I told you. Listen, I've got the connections. Name it, high and mighty. Just name, name them. I have it right in my pants. <laughs> See, what you should just do is to keep being loyal to me. <laughs> and everything is just chicken out. Stop, don't worry about it. You see, I, I allow you to run the affairs of my girls. Yeah, because I trust you. And then I make sure you see only my special client. Because you're special. Is that okay? Thank you so very much. So keep being you. I will. Good morning, Lady Best. Good morning. Hey, hi, welcome. Good morning. You are not looking good. Are you okay? I think I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Oh, okay then. Go in and rest. Is she really okay? I think I know what's wrong with her. Let me just go and check up on her. Okay. And meanwhile, meanwhile, enjoy yourself. Baby. Thank you, boss. Who is your brother? 
Um, he's fine. I sent some money to him recently. And I'll be going over soon to see them. Okay, that's nice. And how about his registration? Oh, um, by the time I was able to gather some money and send to him for it, they were already on strike. But I heard they would be calling it off soon, and uh, so he would do late registration. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, um, I could just go see them with you, you know? I'm, I'm free. I could just go meet them. Really? Yes. Thank you so much, Lady Best. <laughs> no, sincerely, from the depth of my heart, you are amazing. And you've been nothing but good to me. Thank you. You're welcome. But you're a very good girl. And you deserve all the best. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> it's fine. Thank you so much. It's fine. Um, excuse me. Hey, bro. What's up? Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm so bored. I want to do some shopping. So come right here and take me. Like now. Yes. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are really close to your brother. Eh? He's <laughs> my entire being, he's my life. I gave up everything on my brother. Uh -huh. I sacrificed a whole lot for my brother. So, right now, he's doing very well and he has to take care of me. It's my turn now. Right. <laughs> and I'm sure that happened to you so because you're doing the same thing for your brother. Amen. And in turn, you will do the same thing to you. Amen. Then I guess I'm not doing the wrong thing. No, oh my love. You're doing everything right, 100%. Thank you so much, Lydia. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in my room now. Okay, fine. It's fine. I don't understand. Stress is just too much. What stress? Hmm, <laughs> stress to you how? Because I took you to a few places. You're complaining. You called a few places? Uh-huh. Well, the thing is, next time I'll just give you money so you go shopping yourself. That's I'm not going with you. That's not possible. You will go with me. I I'm serious about this. I'm not going Maybe with you Stop again. saying it because you let me pick some things, you know. With your choice and my choice, we'll pick the best. Yeah. Anyways, how about that, your girlfriend? You guys are cool now, yeah? Oh yeah, we're we're cool somehow. Somehow. Yeah. Well, you tired? If you don't mind, I could just um drop you off at home. Nah, nahi. I want to rest a little while, you know. Relax. Look at your face again. Then maybe later. Much later, you just can't drop me. Is that okay? Suit yourself. I'm going inside to rest. I'm tired. You are being so rude now. I'm your sister, remember? You are so naughty. Anyways, can I get water? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm your sister, your only sister. You don't have a choice. Water, please. My friend, <laughs> you're looking good. Thank you're you. looking so good thank in you a so short much. space of time. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, thank you, my darling. Oh. I mean, I am so grateful to God. Because my days of sufferings, my days of pains, <laughs> they are all over. Amen. I am so oh. happy. <laughs> I'm more happy for you. Thank to you. To be honest. And thank you for renewing my house rent and for the promotion you got. <laughs> Alice, come on. It's nothing. 
Uh uh, it's nothing. It's nothing compared to what you've done for me. Mm. Babes, I came into this town not knowing anyone. Oh. And you gave me a roof over my head. You did not just give me a roof over my head, you fed me. Oh. Some days when I want to go for an interview and I don't have transport money, you managed to give me. Even without you not having enough. <laughs> Babes, you think I will just forget everything you've done for me just like that? Oh. I can't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I've not even done anything. Really? Just wait for God to continue to bless you. Amen. Ah, <laughs> you will see what they Amen. call being nice. Oh, <laughs> Chai, I'm so happy to hear that. You're welcome, Dad. You know what? I hope you're not leaving today. Mm. Ah, Alice, I have to go. No, no. I have to. Lady B will not let me. I have to. She has a very big house and um, and you're allowed to do whatever you want. I mean, that woman is actually the best. She's a very nice woman. I'm hey. telling you. Forget, forget the other side. She is a wonderful person. Okay, fine. So, we are not dragging you up, yeah? <laughs> we are not beginning to share you. Come on, come on. Why would you say something like that? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. But to be honest with you, you're looking good. Thank you're looking, you. you're looking so beautiful. Thank See her now. <laughs> Come Thank on, stop now. Hey, God, I beg. <laughs> okay, well, no problem. But I cooked rice. Ah, I hope you will eat. You know I love rice. Okay. Yeah. Did you put beans? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat rice, my darling. Let me get you some. No problem. Oh, you're looking so good. Thank you. <laughs> so bad, you <laughs> Charlie, just stop. Babe. <laughs> uh, Babe, babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it's the devil's handwork. I, I, I know it's my village people. Please, I'm I'm really sorry. I don't I don't know why I went to see that guy that day. I'm very very sorry, babe. Please, I beg you, please, babe. babe. And this guy <sighs> is he also the devil's handwork? The same guy you told me you met. At the online service. You know what? I'm just too good for you. I mean, you don't deserve me. You're just a cheap whore. I wouldn't accept you call me a cheap whore. Oh, is it because I'm kneeling down and begging you? That's why you think you have the guts to call me a cheap whore. Come on, man. I don't understand. Are we even married? We are not! Is it even a guarantee that we are going to be together? Eh? You don't expect me to put all my eggs in one basket. And you're wearing my ring. Yeah. Huh? Can I have my ring back? Babe. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I want my ring back now! Please, I'm sorry. Uh, Are you deaf? Babe, please. Give me please. my ring. Give me my freaking ring. Now. Babe, you're hurting me. Please. Oh, you know I said, give me please. back. I don't babe, care. Ah, babe, 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 I'm sorry. Please, please. I beg you, please. I'll get I don't, out of I don't my house. Mean, please, I'm sorry. I'm I said, sorry. get out. I'm so Are you dead? So you don't. Oh. Sister, you're welcome. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Thank you. I had not had a new job. Yes, mama. Congratulations, Sister, congrats. I'm a fan now. I'm telling you. 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 Job has a great better eye, mama. Oh, mama. Mama, oh. I am so happy. Um, mama, this is my friend, lady. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, best. Her name is Best. Best, no. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. You're, you're Best, though. See how kind she is. <laughs> she insisted that she wanted to come with me. Oh. And uh, Mama, she was the one that um, helped me get the job. Oh. Wow. Mama, this lady has been nothing but amazing to me. Oh. She's God sent. <laughs> Best. Mama, you leave your name. 
you are really the best. Exactly. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. My God, we bless you. Amen. Amen. Oh. Bless you too, Mama. Thank you so, so much. So there are still good people in this world. Mama. Thank you so much. Thank you You're so welcome. Much. Uh, 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 Mama, what is uh, Obieze doing at home? Obieze, are you not supposed to be in school? Speak for yourself. Uh, sister, the registration is still ongoing. And you know, I have not paid for my accommodation. Mm. So you decided to come back home and disturb Mama. Uh, so now that you are home, money is supposed to fall from more Pokwea. Eh, uncle? What's that now? Mama. Don't worry, Mama. I will sort him out before I go back. Yes. Your daughter now has a job. Woo! <laughs> oh, God. Fiji Sister. Maka. Oh. Oh. Sister. Leave me Thank now. Ebu kwa na name. <laughs> now let me quickly go and make you something to eat so that you can eat with your friend. <laughs> thank uh, you, Mama. <laughs> Mama, just hold on, please. Sister, thank you. What's it? Hmm? Ah, ah. Lady, <laughs> best. Hi! Best. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Mama, if I slap you. <laughs> hey! No. Hey, Mama. Dalo, Mama. Hey, no. Dalo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, lady. Thank you, lady. Yes, hey, Mama, um, use it and prepare. I can't have a phone. I can't have a bit of leaf soup. The legendary one. I told her about it. So she came anticipating. Mm -hmm. You know, even though we don't have much money, mm -hmm. Now that there's money, uh -huh. all those uh, as was, uh, mm, as uh, as oh, mangala, as mangala, <laughs> oh, 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 let me go and do it. Okay. Okay. Mama, we will, we will. Yes, I will. Eh, God, me, me, me. Obiese, 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 let me not come for you. That long one, you come in. Okay, Mama. Don't take time. Mama, you have money, so. Sister. I'm so happy to see you. Uh, yeah, Uncle, stop the greetings. Go straight to the point. I know you want to ask for something. Ngwa. Uh, uh, yes, actually. Mm. Uh, mm. I actually Don't need money. Don't mind this boy. Yeah. <laughs> I need money for, you know, school rounds. Uh -huh. I've paid my school fees, but there are still other things I still need to pay. Uh -huh. Like departmental dues, textbooks, uh -huh. accommodation, you know. That, you pay everything at once, okay? Uncle, I'll pay it one after the other. You go. I'll sort you out. Don't worry. I'll give you the ones I can do now. Then, when I go back, I'll send the rest, okay? I still need laptop. I, at least say thank you for the one I've said already. Demanding <laughs> for <a> laptop. <laughs> Leave the young man now. He wants to let you know all of his needs. I understand, my uh, sister. Best, just ignore this boy. I know him very well. No, if he, I leave him, he will ask for house now. He deserves it. Don't worry, you, you get a laptop. Thank you. Good. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> You're welcome, what's Um, again? Uncle, go and get her water. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm, okay. Uh, you don't wear belt again, Uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This boy. Uh, ah, be the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you so much, man. It's nothing. Stop. I truly appreciate it. It's fine. You. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> lady Best. You are the smart. You are the smart. Sorry. Thank you, Lady Best. Good. <laughs> Dave, no, this one brought me out too early. What do you have for me? You know you will not like what I have for you. This one you always locked up in the house. You really need to come out and mingle. You sure need it. <laughs> I don't need it, bro. I don't. You see, women, I'm avoiding them like plague. I mean, I broke up with Vera because I caught her red-handed cheating on me. She could not manipulate the, the, the process. All right? I, I don't need women right now. I don't. Melvin. Yes. You are a man. You are not impotent, and we know it. You can't be avoiding women because of Vera. Oh, no. 
I am not avoiding women because of their. I'm actually avoiding women because of my mental health. I mean, my heart has been shattered so many times. All right, I don't, I don't need that. Well, I, <laughs> I didn't even see it in a page in the Bible where it's been written, <laughs> one man for one woman. <laughs> even Solomon did 700, an extra 300. <laughs> um, you see me, I love this life that I'm living. Right. And I've told you times without number to stop this your one man, one woman thing. Join my ship. Be behaving the way I'm behaving. Look, I'm going to enjoy this life. Then when I am tired, I'll just go to one village and look for one decent girl and marry. That's my plans, bro. Enjoy it while it lasts. This thing is not actually my ideology. All right, but I think I buy that idea. Yeah, after all, I want to get this girl off my head, so I'm game. Oh, you're game? Yeah, <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> That's my guy, uh, but it's obvious you're fooling yourself. Yes, I've told you times with that number, bro. See, forget about that girl, Vera. Stop thinking about her. I have a short blog. Let me hook you up with a lady that will spend time with you one week. A lady that will make you forget totally everything about Vera. All right. All right. All right. Uh huh. You know what? If you are not satisfied with her, you can even get other girls to play around with. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be entertaining such stress. That will be too stressful for me. Come on, man. I'm not used to this life, bro. I'm not. Ah. Oh, Mervyn, listen. Forget about that. Huh? You're stressing yourself too much over nothing. Vera could be somewhere enjoying herself with a man. A newfound love. And you are here worrying yourself over her. Let me get you a short plug. See, I'm going to call her. You like her. She's beautiful, sexy. Bro, succulent. She's soft like a pillow. You will enjoy her. You will like her. Let me just call this girl just one week. Let her stay around you. you know, take you to cloud nine. Let her spice up your life a little bit with so many colors. You understand? Let me just call her on the phone. She'll be here in a jiffy. Don't worry yourself. Eh? Bear me. Just adjust yourself. I'll make the call. Um, uh, uh, hello? Okay, then it's fine. This call I just received now is from a client. And that client insists that he wants you. <laughs> so you have to go inside, get dressed, and go see the client. Hey, sir. No problem, I would... Hurry up inside and dress up. Please. Dress sexy, seductively, and bang You mm. know what I mean? You should go there and represent Lady B with everything in you. No problem. I, I trust you. I certainly will. I trust you. <laughs> okay, Lady B, let me just pack up this. Yes, please. Okay. Where's this girl you've been telling me about? Why is she not here yet? So wait a minute till she'll be here, please. She'll be here, just <laughs> hold on for uh, hold on, please. I can't believe I've been seated here waiting for a girl when I have better things to do with my life. Oh really? Yes, really. No, no, go ahead and talk. I'm waiting to tell you that, that important thing which you have to do with your time. Tell me, what is it? Just look at you. 
a certified civil engineer who owns his own company. And you have employees, workers working under you. Yet you choose to stay at home, thinking about one stupid, useless girl that doesn't even... Hey, she hey. doesn't even care if you exist. Hey, 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 stop that. All right, stop it. I've had other failed relationships, and not just her. So just stop right there, please. Good. <laughs> now someone is talking. You see, that is why you need to start living like me. So that women will respect you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can't be like you, bro. I'm going to keep being me until I find that suitable woman for me. Okay? Um, <clears throat> Melvin, you're not getting it. And you need to understand it. You understand? Listen, this girl in particular, she's beautiful. She's extraordinary, bro. She's extremely beautiful. She got the calls, you know. <laughs> you like her. You like her. She's endowed, bro. Y you know what? I was actually keeping this girl for myself. Oh. Yes. But you know, the sales goes, <laughs> be your brother's keeper. So, you can have her. Enjoy her to the fullest. <laughs> She's yours. Why did I even give in to your stupid idea? Why? Why? Yes, you need to give in to my ideas. Yes, you need to. After all, um, there are those other girls that you, you've been into relationship with. How did it go? They all ate your money and still left you for other men. So how did it go? Mr. One Man, One Woman. You know what? You're not serious. All right? I'm going home now. So you tell your girl to meet me up at home. No, 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 maybe. I'm stressed and I need to rest. All right? I'm going home. I'll see you some other time, bro. I'm serious. I'm out. She's so Dave, I'm, I'm looking into the bar. Are you looking for Dave? Yes, Mr. Dave. Oh, uh, Melvin. We've been waiting for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Amanda. <sighs> nice to see you. Same here. L let's go back in time. Okay. <laughs>
Hey. Good morning. Good morning. And where are you headed? I am leaving. Leaving? Why? Is there a problem? It's morning. I need to go. Well, you need to call your boss. I paid for a week's services. All right? Well, you're free to do um, whatever you want to do. Go on with your daily activities. Go see a friend. Get groceries and um, pick up your stuffs. But you're staying with me for a week. All right? You paid for a week? Oh, yes, I did. I, I was not informed. <sighs> well, now you're informed. Coffee for the money. Thank you. You're welcome. How's your client? How did he treat you? Mm, it was okay. <coughs> but I didn't know I was supposed to stay for one week. He paid for one week, so I heard. Oh, that's a good deal. Uh, at least he paid once, you know. I actually didn't know it's possible, I mean, for you to pay once for the duration of time you want the person. Girl, you need to start learning fast. It's very, very possible. You know, we just give them bills. If they can afford it, why not? They just pay you at once. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm still learning. <laughs> learn fast. <laughs> they learn I, faster. I actually came back to pick up some of my things. I'm going back in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> it's a week now. Oh, I'm done. The check is glowing. Oh, everywhere. please, just stop. Just ah, stop, ah. Lizzie. This is your hair, oh, baby, oh, baby. Ami, <laughs> I'm, I'm teaching me now. I'm learning. Ah, ah. I'm learning. My dear, go enjoy. <laughs> if you reach, hope makes they blow your back. Listen, Dave, I will not condone any form of disappointment again from you. Alright? I need you to supply the drilling equipment to the site today, unfailingly, please. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> Your face just looks like uh, all those, those broadcaster. Look at how serious your face looks like. Overleave that in a bag. How far? Give me the red juice now. You should be giving me latest updates. Short plug updates. About what? How far you and that babe? How did it go now? How many rounds did you go? How many styles did you try on her? Ah, that's the headline you see now. Yeah, what all this uh, equipment? <laughs> you're, you're so unserious. I don't know why. You're so unserious. Well, I, I kind of like the girl. Yeah, I, I like her. Interesting. Wonderful. That means you two will connect well on bed. Your energy match, bro. You know, you, I think your only problem in life is women and money. Yeah. Yes, because I, I don't understand you. What is there to life now, if not women and money? <laughs> well, what are we living for? <laughs> what are we living for? The bees and the uh, and honey. <laughs> we connect. Women, money, uh, men. We connect. Bro. Get that thing, girls. Enjoy this gear. Mm. Enjoy this babe. Um, as regards the equipment, I'll, I'll make it available at your site first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, but meanwhile, you need to cultivate well on this particular farm. 
go with tractor cutlass everything this particular babe at first hour <laughs> Listen, I will tell you, give us your number to the allergy. Why? Why? I ask you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Lady Best. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't answer just that. You're more very pressed person. I, I, I didn't. That did not answer my question. And you know it's not part of the rules. You know, right? I do. Please, Lady Best, I'm sorry. You're raising your voice for me. I am very sorry. I'm sorry, yes. Not like I, I intend to give allergy, just that um, I went to see allergy and he gave me his complimentary card. He said I may travel with him, so I called to confirm if I'm still traveling so I can, I can inform you. I am sorry, please. Lizzie, you are overstepping your bounds. <laughs> and I do not take it very lightly with people like that. You do your shit outside, I do not bother you. But not with my client. You do not! Do things outside of my car without me knowing. Don't you ever in your life do this again. Sorry, please. Everything you do with my client, I must be informed and aware of it. Do you understand me? I do. I'm sorry. Get out! It's what? Ungrateful fools everywhere. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Man, I, I don't expect you to be here alone. Like how bad? Are you saying that you, you do not miss me? Ah. Oh. Baby, you know better than this now. You don't expect me to be eating one delicacy all the time. If you are my position, will you accept it? Alaji Haba. Okay, fine. I understand. So, what do you want? I want that baby. The one you brought for me the last time. She is a special girl. I am ready to pay any amount. Haba. Alahaji. You know you are my special client. I am also. Mm -hmm. And I will do anything for you. You see? That girl is not available now, you know. But soon, you'll get her. But for now, I can get you some other girl that you enjoy too, you know? Hmm? Do you think uh, that uh, she's going to be like the first one? Hala Jihaba, don't be self-centered now. Veggies are not easy to come by. It's not what you see every day. Alaji, you are so lucky that she just came at the right time. You are lucky, you know? So you should be appreciative. <laughs> hmm? Alahaji. So, if you are going to be around, don't leave my main food comes around. Alaji, I'm all yours now, you know? I will let you know once she's available. But Alahaji, for now, I'll be your main girl now. I like cannot the, live without like the baddest lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How do I go about this? How am I supposed to go about this? You should have told us about this earlier. At least I would have gotten someone to do it for me. How the hell do I go about this? Ah. <clears throat> Hi. Hey. I see you are struggling with the proposal. And how long have you been standing there? Long enough to know that you are struggling with it. Well, I have this proposal I'm trying to put together because um, I have to present it first and tomorrow morning. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, how about me helping you out? Let me see, what is it about? Ah, come on, it's not something you can handle. Don't worry, I would um, find a way around this. What makes I'll you think I can't it. handle it? Let me see, come on. I am just going to work on it when I'm done. You can go through it. Let me try. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um... Okay, so what is it all about? Well, there, yeah, that's the topic over there. Hmm, I see. Marketing. Okay, let's... Roll. Yeah. That girl is a genius. She helped me out with my proposal, bro. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> I didn't know she has brains alongside her banging body. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got um, <laughs> she's got some brains, man. Well, you know what? Just keep on enjoying her, okay? Enjoy the girl to the fullness. Just enjoy your money. Whatever you're getting from that girl is because we paid well and we paid in full. We got some problems, man. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm okay. But when it comes to women, I'm not okay. I'm crazy. Are you right? <laughs> you're right about that. You give me the best supply of my life. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm um, talking about supply. You need to um, send more money, okay? Yes, you need to send more money so I can get you more girls. Yes. You see, that's a problem with you. You've got two problems, actually. Money and women. <laughs> huh? Yes, you can say that again. Meanwhile, um, <clears throat> when am I getting my lot? Don't worry, you get done with the supply and you're getting your lot. And consider that done. Right. So, um, aside our brains and our Physique, uh, Coca Cola, happy body shape. What else do you like about this um, girl? When you think I'll tell you. <laughs> but I know <laughs> she's good in bed too. <laughs> oh, bro. Have you had anything with her? Nope. Obiaze. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You have still not told me what you're doing here. It is just two weeks. It's barely two weeks your sister paid your school fees and you went back to school. So what are you doing here? How much is a problem? Problem? Yes. What kind of problem? I don't even know how to say it to you and my sister. I hope it, does, it is not any, anything that has to do with money. You know your sister, she's the only one suffering for us. She just finished paying our debt. The little money we are owing people here and there. And she has paid your school fees and accommodation. I don't know the kind of boy you are. Eh? And whatever, there is no tree growing money here. I am not doing anything. Apart from the little, little farm I do here. Manage what you have. Don't go to school and start living high class life. Mama. And Mama. then Najee go. Mama. It's not like that. That, that is even far from it. Okay. Mama. See. We have a field trip. And it's very compulsory. Lately, I've not even been enjoying my, my lectures. Why? You know the course I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Software engineering is a course that requires good laptop. Now my, my laptop is not even half of what they are using there. I need a good laptop with good capacity. Uh, the, the way you're sounding as if laptop is your issue. Since you have one, manage it now. Okay, this one, this new one you're talking about, and the field trip, whatever, whatever, I don't know. It's from J. How much would it cost? The field trip is 70,000 naira. Mm -hmm. 
and the exact laptop I want to get will cost like 350k. Eh? Yes, 350,000. This whole thing you talked about now is um, it's over 500,000. Almost, no, it's not over. It's, it's over, over now, it's 520. Yeah. What? Anyway, let me not put it on you, not bear. As you can see, I'm not penniless. I don't have shishu on me. So find means and call your sister. She's the only one that you can rely on. You don't know. I don't even have 1% of, of this money you talked about. So I don't know how to help you. But what you You have a laptop. You don't want to use the one you have. The one you want to buy. Is it the one you want to buy you should be talking about? It is the one that you will need to get what you want. Mama, that's what I'm saying now. The particular laptop I want to buy is 350. The one I have does not measure up. I don't understand. Mama, yes, now, laptop yes, sure has, they, they have grades now. A uh, grade of laptop can they cook up? Mama, Mama, don't, don't do this thing now. Don't do okay. this thing. Mama, say I need a very good laptop. Call her, call her. Ah. As you call sister? Eh, uh, call her. You're telling me I to call my sister. I just told you that I don't even know how to say it. To if you don't know how to say it, why did you say it? You're my mother now. Eh, I'm not sure. Okay. Yes, eh. Bobaya. Bobaya. Bella and Angel. Yes, ma. I sent you two to go for three home. You got there and you're giving your orders. Really? I'm really sorry, Ma. The guys started requesting that we go without protection. So what? No! So what? Who? What is he? They paid for it. They paid for it. It's their money. You will do whatever they want. Wait a minute, what are you scared of? Eh? Pregnancy or STD? No, let, let me hear you guys out. We are sorry, Ma. Mm. We'll be ready to do everything they want. Oh, please! Babe, honestly, eh, I hate bringing children to this business. Mm. I hate bringing people like this to this game. Mm. What is wrong with you guys? We are sorry. Mona, keep on scared of what? I'm never rich like that, Mama. I feel you broke your teeth if you repeat that statement. Hey, you did Chris? Bella, Bella, you don't see Coca Fanta color before. If you not keep quiet, if I give you job, it's so easy to enter streets. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you guys. You think it's easy to get good clients? On a say easy now they lick like the best hope. I daily I try not to mad. Don't tell me that sorry. See, if you guys must work with me, then you must do whatever my clients want. You must do whatever they want. Yes. What sort of nonsense is this? Yes. You know what I mean? They tell me sorry. You know what I mean? They tell me, you know, they tell me sorry. They talk nonsense. Money and they shake. Money. What do you actually want to get? Huh? Anyway, no problem. I know what to do. I will reduce your percentage. Hey! Yes. Mama, no now. They, those guys no. are turning us up and down. This yeah, even if they tell you blue, yeah. turn you blue black. If they say turn, you turn. If they say back, you back. If they say doggy, you give them. Let them shift my own go. Let them, let them shift it. Right and left, you go. Turn and right. Let them shift it. Now they press. Get, get, get that off my side. Come, 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 come. Take. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Come on, go go for you. Idiots. Thank you, ma. I pour water and I have to cook and fat. Idiots. What is it? See, I'm I'm really feeling bad about this whole thing. Why don't you see all these clients by ourselves? We thought we can get to keep all the whole money, eh? I can't be sleeping with men and be giving her the money only for her to give me chicken change. What, what, what is this? Eh, what, what is this? Why well, you know the way that guy was penetrating every day he sees all in my body yesterday night? The guy turned up on Bluetooth, he came. I don't understand. Uh, then they come, they give me all this. What I go use this money do? 
Ah, you see money, they complain. See, you don't blame her. She's the one giving us the connection. I am sure if you and I stand on the road, we will not make half of this money. So chillax. <laughs> ah, I don't know about you, but you see, next time we go see a client, Mama say I'm keeping all the whole money to myself because she's not the one sleeping with all those men now, eh? Lady Bess is not as greedy as she is. I'm sure she's taking all this deal to herself. Because I don't understand. I don't know if they spread my leg. They do me any. I just go to the chicken change. They give me. I beg, I beg, I beg. But did they pepper me? Hey, me pepper oh, you. Come on for years. years. I don't. She's hearing. I don't talk. care. I don't care. You go ah. come out, Abi. You no go go. Kukuma stay. Um, you can give come. me this. Give, give you waiting. Ah, as you say, you you pick past the money. Eh, hey, I need to eat and boil to that too. I need to press this thing on top. And after all this, what will they do me now? Now. Okay, what's the problem? What's up? <clears throat> if I say I don't notice your moody, that means I'm lying. You look worried. What's the problem? <sighs> I am thinking of how to raise 500,000 naira for my brother. Girl, I need 500,000 naira to sort my brother out. Babe, calm down. I know that that's a huge money. That's a huge amount of money, but I'm sure you can get it from your clients. You know, there are only few clients who can give you that kind of money. And you know our usual price. So if I say, let me start sleeping with men to get it. Do you know how many of them I will have to sleep with? That is why you don't have to. If you get good clients, I mean... When I mean good client, if you have a good client, you don't have to go through those process. Just tell them, you can tell at least one or two degrees and then you don't get the money. <laughs> eh? Very easy for you to say. Oh, better still, you can still talk to Lady Best. Yeah. And I will have to pay back. So it's the same thing. And when I'm even paying back, I'm paying back with interest. I mean, what about this client you want? Don't you think if you tell him he will give you, he's a good client. I mean, you seem to like him more. Why not try your best, at least? You think he will give me? Babe, just uh, make a move. Try, try your luck first. Don't you think he's tired of me already? Oh, stop. Don't say that. You first talk and face, not me, not the next action. Eh? Smile, I know where you go get the money. <laughs> Please, you just stop. stop. Come on, I just wanted to cheer up. Mm. It's okay, I'll be fine. I will be able to talk to him, like mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm. Now you come. Do oh. Okay, um. Hey! What's up? I'm alright. I wanted to talk to you about something. Alright. So what is it about? Um, I... I was thinking if you could extend our contract to a month more. The thing is, I I have a pressing need. I need to pay my brother's school fees and also sort out some family problems. I see you have lots of responsibilities. Yes, I do. It's all right. I would um, talk to my friend to have him talk to your boss to extend the, the agreement. Okay? Thank you. There's no need... Um, Getting someone else when I'm okay with you. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate Sam. Thank you. And it's I promise right. you would not regret it. Of course, I'm happy. Hmm? Thank you. It's all right. Why don't you get dressed so we can go out this evening and have a drink or two? Huh? 
Okay. I'll teach us that. Thank you. Thank You're you. Alright. Looks sexy, huh? I do. <laughs> Babe. Hi. Listen, your friend is biting more than he can chew. I don't understand. Yes, yes. He's paying well for the. Yeah, he's paying, but I need that girl to help me get more money. Do you understand? He said he wants extra month. One more month. No, now, it doesn't make sense. Yes, I know. I know. He's doing well. In fact, he's paying well, but I need that girl. You know me, I'm money now. You know me. I am not. Yes, please. So just talk to him, I beg. Talk to him. It is getting too much, and I'm not comfortable with it. Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, wow. This guy is really into her. He just really want to keep her for so long. Ah, well, what's my own? The money is what I want. <laughs> the mama knows in the reverse, the money now, five and six. The sound of money makes me honey. Money is a cocoa. Louder, that, that Co <laughs> oh makes goodness. me honey. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> uh -huh. Once I have a six month, she just pay me my money. Very important. That, that's yeah. my own. I know. That's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, your guys know ya. Yeah? You know one thing? I don't know why this guy insists on keeping me for so long. Uh, I am sorry, Lady Best. What is. It's what I want because I need money. <laughs> Right, I understand. But you know, it's preventing you from seeing other clients. Another class wants you. Uh, it's just for a month. That's a whole 31 days. 31 days. Anyways, he paid well for it. Yeah. But please, stay very careful. I will. It's fine. Um... Lady Best, you are indeed the best lady. <laughs> Thank you for looking out for me. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I know it's late, but we still have to do it. Okay. To so more money. Of course, money. <laughs> the sound of money makes me honey. <laughs> oh, God, you man. You're spoiling me. Ah! <laughs> For, it's just for a month. You are already spoiled. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Um, Good evening. How was your day? My day was fine. And how was yours? It was okay. It's good to know. Mm. And yes, the proposal. It was the best out of the rest. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, thanks I'm to you. I'm so happy to hear that. That's good. I owe you one. No, you owe me nothing. I do. You, do, you don't. <laughs> um, it's all right. I'll just uh, go inside, freshen up, and then maybe I'll come join you. Um, that would be nice. Actually, I cooked. You did? Yeah, I did. I figured you'd be hungry when you come back. Wow. It's alright, I'll go freshen up and then uh, I'll join you. You should. Ah. Welcome. Thank you. And congratulations about your project. Don't think Thank I'm you. gonna leave you. <laughs> I do one I have to. My choice is fine now. No one's gonna waste your name. You are that woman and you've shown me. You're the one for me. I can see you're the prostitute for licking yourself with my man. Excuse you. And who the hell are you to come in here and insult me? I'm huh? not here for you. Where's Melvin? 
Melvin! Well, young lady, in case you were not told, next time when you come into someone's house, the first thing you do is at least introduce yourself even if you don't want to greet and not insult the person you met in the house. I believe you. Oh, very well. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I asked a question. What are you doing here? Can we can we talk? Get out. Melvin, please. Get out! Melvin, please! Get out! What the hell are you doing here? Embarrassing my guest! Listen, we have nothing to talk about, all right? So get out! Melvin, please don't do this. Please, just, just, just don't do this, please. Is it because of her? You know you know she's a prostitute, right? Please don't do this, please. I beg you, just, just give our love a second chance, please. If you, you ever respected what we had, you wouldn't have ever taken it for granted, all right? I'm done talking to you. Just get out! No, Melvin, Melvin, please. I just want a second chance, I promise. Please. I, I promise to treat you better. I promise to treat, Listen, treat you Vera. like a king. I'll treat you like a king. Vera! Please. All of this is over. Melvin, All right? Don't do this. It's too late. Thank you. Leave and never come back. Melvin, Melvin. I'm done! Melvin, please. Melvin! Melvin! I'm truly sorry for that. Right? Um, that um, actually my ex. We're done. She just wouldn't move on. It's okay. I I completely understand. Thank you very much for understanding. You're welcome. So what what has truly happened? I I am sorry if I'm intruding into your personal life. I, I was just curious. But it's okay if you don't want to talk about it. I met Vera. What is wrong with you? Are you okay? I'm no, fine. Oh, you, you don't look fine to me. Is that tears in your eyes? Say I'm fine. Oh. Well. I've been, I've been looking at you from there. You don't look fine to me. Well, I'll suggest you go home. Where is your driver? I don't have one. Oh, do you mind I drive you home? I can. Your your keys. Can I take you home? This estate kind of looks familiar to me. It's beautiful. I'm um, sorry, I want to ask you something. Huh? Um, why were you lost in the bar? Like, you were looking, not looking good. What happened? 
I don't want to talk about it. Did you, did you lose a contract or a family member die? As we speak, my girlfriend is in flights to Canada with her new lover. Wait. She left me for him. So, you were in such state because of heartbreak? Is it, is it funny? <laughs> no, it's... Sorry, but I've not seen a man react to heartbreak like that. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing, sorry, sorry. This way. Please, when next you're going, I'll like you go with the driver. You don't look emotionally balanced. Thank you so much for coming through for me. What would I have done without you? Thank you. You're welcome. It's not a problem. I'll just take my leave. Um. Can I at least get your number so I... I get to thank you properly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Feel free to call me anytime. Of course, I'll call you. Yeah. Bye. Take care of yourself. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. You're better now, and you're not still thinking about your ex. No, really. Um, I'm only thinking of the woman seated in front of me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm flattered. You shouldn't. Um, thank you very much for your presence in my life. I truly appreciate it. I mean, what would I have done without you? I mean, I'm glad I met you. Thank you. You're welcome. You are a perfect gentleman. And you deserve a good woman. Of course, I... I deserve a good woman and I found one already. I'm just waiting for her to say yes to my proposal. And who is she? She's sitting right there. <laughs> Without pleasure. <laughs> Let me. Go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. Sunshine. Good morning, babes. Breakfast in bed. Thank you. Who owns that ring you wear? Like you didn't put it here. <laughs> 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 I 
You see, I... I love what we have going on. And I want to seal this bond. I want to make it permanent. That's why I'm asking you, right now, will you be my wife? Yes. <laughs> I will say yes over and over again. <laughs> <sighs> but babe, I need you to stop all your unfaithful moves. I need you to be loyal to me. I need your total submission. That's been our only problem in this relationship. That's all I want from you. Loyalty. Okay. And I promise from today, I will be faithful, loyal, and honest. I trust you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Um, go ahead. You eat while I watch. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hey. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm off to work. Okay. Um, I'll be going for shopping today. All right, I... I have a brief meeting with my workers at the office. So maybe when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll go shopping together. I don't think that would be necessary. I, I just want to pick a few things, then see my auntie. Don't worry, tomorrow I'll come back. It's all right. In that case, I'll have to make a transfer to your account. Okay. Okay? Mm, I'll miss you. Miss you too. Mm -hmm. Take care of you, huh? Yeah, and you too. Bye. Bye, darling. The truth is, God has been good. I see. Yes, I raised some money for my sister, which I put into my business. Wow. And today, I own one of the biggest companies That's in Nigeria. That's what they said. They said that <laughs> you came home very big. Yes. I'm yes, happy. Did, ah, did, I was did. jubilating that I saw my friend. <laughs> they told me about you. Ah, I can see it on you. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, cool. um, how's um, Canada doing? Uh, Canada is fine, but I just came back from my father from Nera. All right. You understand? Yeah. But I'm expecting someone new money from now. Oh, oh wow, you're expecting someone now. Yes. Well, oh, that's very good. Hey, how are you? I can see. Oh, wow, you are looking good. I can see it on you. Um, bro, I, I think I'll see you later on today. Have something oh, to catch up with. There's no issue? No, no, everything is fine. Are you sure? Everything is fine. Sure? Perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, I promise. Well, we can hook up later. Of course, we will. Okay. Alright, take care of you, huh? Thank you. Are you okay? I've also had a few relationships that feel just like um, they're arrested. I am truly sorry about that. You deserve better. But like I always say, I... I don't think there is true love out there anymore. These days, I think love is transactional. It's about what you bring to the table, like they say. 
which in essence actually means give or take what am i getting from you what are you getting from me that's what love is all about these days is that why you do what you do well i believe this conversation is not about me it's about you and I can see why you are so emotionally messed up. You might think you've moved on, but you've really not moved on. I think you have to forget about the past and look towards the present and the future. Because there are better things there. A friend of mine actually um, suggested this. I mean, this hookup. Yeah, so I can clear my head. I hope this therapy works for me. Therapy? Yeah. Well, I hope the therapy is good for you so far. Baby, oh baby. Pepe Denga. Oh baby, up, oh baby. What's up now? Eh, what's eh? Up? This one you spent night with us today. What's happening? Where's your boo? Um, he traveled. He went for a business meeting. Uh -huh. mm. I talk him. Uh, I said it. You and I know you go there, yeah, what food? <laughs> you do all the food, you're the smile. Uh -huh. What is that supposed oh. to be now? Oh baby. baby. You the F O. I'm telling you. If now me, Lizzie, gather your clients, me, I trust myself. I know, I know you carry less. Mm. Eh? I will make sure I, I go drill everything from toe to head. Not be here to toe, from toe. Mm. I will extract every part, as in the proper now understatement. You dare they do this. Shall you, are you? <laughs> well, unfortunately, Lizzie. I am not you. I am only there for the contract basis. And that's it. Nobody is dragging the contract with you, my darling. Shine your eye. Opportunity come but one. Shine your eye. If you get your like this, whoa, you do one. <laughs> oh. Please, I beg me. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh. Just leave me alone. Okay. Meanwhile, where is uh, Lady Best? My dear, she went out. Oh, that's by the way. You see me and you. Girl, you're taking me out. You too much money, eh? The money is there. Spend it for your girl. You are taking me out easy. Please, please, please. Mr. Now. Cash. Can I have a moment? Wife of please. Mr. Cash. Well, I'm just saying. You know, stop. We go out. No moment. Let's go. You're taking me out. I don't know what you're talking about. My friend, my friend. I can't hear you. My friend, my I know friend. You are taking me just out. <laughs> let it be. Let it be. Let it be. <laughs> Not so one channel. I want that girl. I want her even if it is for a night. But I want her for keep. Allah Hajj. You know I can't do anything for you. But the truth is, you cannot have that girl for now. But you have access to her in the next coming month. How about that, Allah? That's too far. Oh, you be coming down. Take a chill pill. Baby, be don't tell me to calm down. I know money is a problem. Uh, I know it's money. I'm ready to pay any amount. In fact, I'm going to give you 10 million. Allah has you. Send what? Ten million. <clears throat> Ten million. Baby, baby, I'm going to give you more. I like that girl. I feel comfortable whenever I'm with her. Oh my goodness. Wallahi. Ay, wallahi. Like wallahi. <laughs> you have her. <laughs> wallahi. Take it. <laughs> like it. Now you, you are talking. Of course now. <laughs> I will make sure you have her in bundle. In the whole. 
Come on, you, you, you know me now. Lady B. I'm Lady B. B. The sound of money <laughs> makes me honey. I'm a hardy. Come on. You want to sleep? Stop playing now. 10 million. Take it. Have it. Hold it. It is yours. For keeps. She's here. Allah hardy. Allah hardy. Allah hardy. Um. Amanda. Yes, Lady B. I understand that the guy keeping you now is not around. Yes, he traveled. Okay. Um, Allah Jigaba wants you back and is willing to pay a huge amount of money to that effect. He wants you to come spend the night with him. Now, my question is. What do we do? Because you cannot miss this opportunity. Well, Lady B, it's not possible. It's not. The guy I'm with paid for one month and we're just one week in. Besides, it's... I, I don't want to cheat on him. How old they talk about cheating? Are you serious? You'll be ash. You go to calm down. Like, I don't even. You are too decent for this job, yeah? I thought by now that you have learned from me. Hey, mama. Or kiss him. I do not understand. This guy is not around. Even if he was to be around, the hair not because we all do sharp sharp. Nobody go know the apple. Now you know they go and do stuff. They're telling me you don't cheat as your husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> really? I am sorry, Lady P. I, I can't. But for me, it's one man at a time. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't see allergy now. Really? Please, I want to tell you something. Or ask you something either. Can you show me where this your law now is written in the Asher Book of Law? Substitution what? Answer me now. One man, I like, where are they for the law? I don't understand. What did they walk you? What did they worry you? A mama? Eh? Wait. Let me ask you a question. Do you know how much Allah Haji is willing to pay for this? Small picking. Stop acting like a child. Open your eyes. Yes, open your eyes. <coughs> eh? Hmm. I heard that large Gaba offered Lady Best 10 million cash. Yes. If you can offer 10 M to Lady Best, then tell me. If you tell this man to offer you anything, he will do it. Is he out? This man in particular is tripping for you, girlfriend. Open your eyes. Yeah. Lizzie, I don't care. I don't care about allergy gaba or allergy anything. My own is somebody paid for me for one month 
and we're just one week in and you expect me to cheat on this guy. It's wrong. I bet stop that nonsense. What do you mean you're just expecting me to cheat? What do you mean? That lie will drop now. He bites me for body. What do you mean by that? You be small picking. What is wrong with you? Now this nonsense they do with the best they best with you. My dear, there's nothing like cheating. What you what are having is business. Open your eyes, man, nothing not business. Which kind of nonsense thing be that one? You better open your eyes because no man is worth your loyalty. So be your eye they shine. Lizzie, I don't understand what your problem is. You know what? If Alice was around, I won't be here having this conversation with you. Mm -hmm. Because I would have stayed at her place till Melvin comes back. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going back to Melvin's house. I mean, you what? Are you kidding me? Amanda! This babe not just smart. Eh? I wish that me all this make would even be seen. She can't not sense to be that one. Amanda. Amanda. If you make me lose this money from Alahaji, I swear down, hell will let loose. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I, I've tried and talked to her. Eh? It's just that she, she, she's not getting it. I don't know. Lizzie. What? Maybe you should call Dave. Let him speak with his friend. Once Alaji pays this money, we'll do him a refund. Simple. No, we don't have to go that long process. No. I think the person we should work on is Amanda. Yes, we just have to change our mindset. <laughs> that girl. That girl is too decent for this job. Like, I do not understand. I saw the girl, though. Because, I, I, like, it's making it, I'm on the streets with Dale. Now, hustle. You have to hustle. We are hustling. Now, streets with Dale. I saw the girl, law and order. No, we don't get constitution. Yes, I know. Please, man. You're just She's like, making me go mad. Please calm down. I know. You know, money, if I lose money, I get dry. Money makes me wet. I know. I, know. I like to get wet every time, and honey. Yes. Do you understand? I know. Please calm down. I'll talk to her. Please. Please do you understand me? Yeah. When I hear money, it makes me honey. It makes me wet. When I lose money, I get dry. I and once I'm dry, I can be very dirty and nasty. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. She's making me go crazy. I'm losing my mind. Lose she wouldn't like it. Speak with her. I will. I'll make sure you're always on him. Lady B, Lady B, Berry man, Berry. Ah, listen, I'm listen. I'm talking, listen. When I'm talking, you listen. Eh? Lady B, I say listen while I'm talking. I need that girl. I need that girl. In fact, who is keeping the girl? What is her? What is her price? Tell me. I don't want you to deceive me unnecessarily for nothing. Tell me what is wrong with you. What am I going to pay? Lady B, oh, keep quiet while I'm talking. Kaberi Mana, Kajiko. Okay. 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 Yes, but what I want to tell you is this. If I cannot have the girl this weekend, <laughs> in fact, just forget about it. That is it. Just forget about it. Thank you. When are you coming back? My my boss wants me to be with another man. And I don't want to cheat you because our contract states one one month and I want to keep it that way. I know, but um we we had an agreement of um one month and um I don't want to be with another man here until I'm done with you. So I, I want to know where you are or when you're coming back. I might as well come to where you are if you tell me. Oh, 
All right. Okay, no problem. I'm safe flight. Have a nice day. At least Lady B will stay off my back for now. Why didn't you attend to your boss and then back to me? I wouldn't have noticed. I know, but that's not who I am. Besides, I feel I owe you that loyalty. Interesting. You know, the problem in my past relationships has always been about um, loyalty. And here you are, serving loyalty on the plot of gold. Wow. You know, this is not what I wanted for my life. I. I never pictured my life to be this. And I'm not one to jump. Jump from one man to another. But when life serves you lemon, like they say, you make lemonade out of it. When I couldn't get a job and uh, things were becoming very tough, a first class graduate and um, the hope of my family. I met my boss, Lady Best, who offered me this job. And I had no option but to accept it. To think that I lost my virginity through this job and uh, Well, I, I don't blame you for this, all right? I don't blame you for this at all. But I'll, I'll tell you the truth. This is not the right part, okay? <sighs> Would you like to, to um, leave this job? If I leave it, where do I go to? I, I have nowhere to go to and I don't think my boss would want me to go. She won't let me go. I think the question should be, will you leave this job if you have something better? Yes, I will. I will. Very well then, I would um, talk to Dave to arrange a meeting with your boss. Even if it means buying your freedom, I will. So you can have a better job. She would do that. Yes. Lady Beast, please.
this fool knows why I'm calling her on the phone. And she refused to take my calls. Yeah. I, I know. But I know she will definitely return me calls. Please. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If Amanda refuses to go see Alahaji and I lose her 10 million, I swear to God. When she's done with that stupid guy, she must work out that 10 million out for me. She has no choice. Uh, uh, Lady Beast, it hasn't gotten to that. Sorry. <laughs> she wasn't told. She's not aware that I am Lady Best. I do not joke with my money. The sound of money makes me honey. It makes me wet. I hate to be dry. When she's done, that money must be provided. Like a normal woman, she's stupid. A bitch. Maybe she's just the play. She can't want like this. Huh? Simple something this girl not figure out. You know, say so lady best. She's always honey. Money makes me honey. No money makes her dry. Fian. Nah, eh. Babe, I have every right to keep this girl. I mean, she's not into this for fun. This is just where life do hurt. The truth is, um, there are good ones among them, if you ask me. But when they do this for too long, it becomes part of them. No, it's no, no. She, she's not been doing this for too long. I mean, she told me her story. She's just being used by the same woman she ran to for help. Well, um, I'm not forcing you if you want to. But you have to be extremely careful. I will advise you do a background check on her before you make a decision. Oh, this is why I need to see her boss. Yes, I want to talk to her. I need her to let this one go. Well, in that case, I, I have to make an arrangement for the both of you to see and talk. Okay. Because she's complaining that you're keeping her girl for too long. <laughs> Imagine her declining her boss's orders to sleep with other men, all because of me. I never pressed for it, all right? Saying she doesn't want to disrespect me like that. Man, I mean, in my previous relationships, I don't... I mean, I did everything for my exes. And what did I get in return? They left me for other men. Well, all said and done, like I said, there are still good ones among them. I think we should um, be more concerned of um, how we can take out of that place. Exactly, my friends. So we need to do is ASAP. All right? Definitely. Yeah. I need to get it out. I can imagine. <laughs> what? No, seriously, um, you're looking more <laughs> vibrant as a young man. It's like you like this particular girl so much. Tell me, have you told her the way you feel about her? The feeling is mutual. Yeah, we're just um, taking things one step at a time. Ooh. Yeah. One step at a time. Of course, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah. You know you should thank me because Kudos to me because I was the one that uh, made all these things to happen. Yes, I was the master planner. If not for me, <laughs> you won't be this happy today. <laughs> Dave. Lady Best. I know that your friend is up to something. If he has succeeded in brainwashing my girl, it is fine. No problems. <laughs> that girl is supposed to make me 10 million naira like now. But she has refused to because of your friend. <laughs> Please tell him. He has to pay me that money before I will let her go. That's the must. Lady Best, please calm down. I know how you feel. I know how you feel, my dear. This is not war. You see, 
this business we're talking about is illegal. Yes, it's, it's not legal. And you have nothing, you hold nothing against this girl. But let peace reign, okay? My friend is in love with this girl. He loves her so much and he's ready to change her life and put her on the best side of life. You can go ahead and state your demands, okay? I will arrange a meeting between you both, alright? Then you can state your demands and I promise you, we'll meet up to it. 10 million? It's not a problem, that I promise you. Dave, nobody, I repeat, nobody threatens Lady Best. Not even you. Do not die. <sighs> Lady Best, nobody's threatening you here. I'm not doing that, okay? All I'm saying in a nutshell is this. Just name your price, state your demands, and I promise you, who made up to it? The 10 million euro has to be paid into my account before I will listen to him. You can arrange the venue and then send me the address. I'll be waiting. And please do not waste my time. Oh, calm down, Lady Best. Oh, it's okay. I'll make it happen and I'll send you the address. That shouldn't be a problem, okay? Um, just calm down. Hmm? It's not war. It can never be war. I'll send you the message. Amanda. Amanda. I will so deal with you. <laughs> I will so deal with you. That's a promise. What the hell is wrong with her? Huh? What the hell is wrong with her? She should know she's not doing a legal business. And I can get her arrested for that. I called her for a meeting so we can have a proper negotiation. And she's coming with demands. Um, Melvin, take it easy. Okay? Don't rush things yet. You don't know the agreement Amanda have with this woman. Eh? Listen, just follow this woman with caution. Extreme caution. That's all I can advise. Don't, don't hasten into anything yet. Just be patient. Very well then. Um, set up a meeting. Alright, tell me the venue and time. Okay? I don't know why people behave like this. Someone comes to you to help her and instead you take advantage of her, use her to make money. Listen, tell her, if she does not cooperate, I will fight her with the law. As simple as that. Melvin, calm down now. It hasn't got into fighting this woman with the law. Huh? Listen, Amanda is your woman and you love her so much. We know she's a good girl. Okay, there's no point dragging these issues. You understand? Listen, you can never tell what tomorrow holds. <laughs> you know, this woman. Can never tell the both of you might end up being good friends in the nearest future. Okay? Well, I just do the news for okay and uh, get back to me ASAP. I uh, just want her to be free. I, I I need her to be free. I want her to it, it's okay. I'll arrange a meeting. I'll arrange a meeting between you guys, don't worry. I'll make it happen. Alright. Uh, meanwhile, the, the consignment, the equipment, I've, I've dropped it at your, your site. It's there already waiting for you. Alright. You've seen? You've not seen it? I'll see it. I'll, I'll go check it out. Please take me home, my boy. Yes, let's get out of here. So, after everything I did for you, you think you have grown now, right? 
that you now want to go after a man. In it! But Lady B, sincerely, I did nothing wrong. After all, you're the one who said to me that I could find a husband through this business. Come on, shut your trap! Shut that hole you call a mouth, that's when it got us. Shut it up already! What are you blabbing about? Oh, really? I said that to you, eh? Why did you go after Alaji? After all, he was your first man. Why? That man promised me 10 million and even more! Only if you accept him. And of course, he wants you for keeps. So why did you go for him? Because I don't want him. I don't want Alaji. Come over here talking nonsense with you. I'm not here to banter words with you. For your hearing, if that thing you call a man does not meet up with my terms and conditions. Ash, you are going nowhere. What is this? You carry me the car on the box. Are you sure of this? You better remain here if you're not sure. Before that guy will dump you and go for another. Come to think of it, I don't really think a reasonable man will see you in this line of our business and still want to keep you for real. Hell no. Like, a man will just want to keep you and get married to you for the rest of his life. Amanda, come. Use your whole power. I they tell you this in every day. And if that lady best tell you, say, in this line, you go meet my go marry, not lie. Big lie. As for Alaji Gaba, he's rich. He has money. He will take good care of you. Have fun. Click this man. Tell and say you be real babe. What is this way they do us well? You don't need that move. <laughs> I just, I just, I just hope it, anyway, man, don't talk. Want to say anything? Dave. Um, Lady B. What is going on? Your friend knew that he would not be here. And he kept me waiting for him here. Why? Um, I don't understand it. And I'm sure he called him. He's not taking his calls, right? Uh, I'm as surprised as you are. <laughs> um, she's all like him. Please, um, exercise little patience. I believe he will come. After two hours. I've been here for two hours now, right? Who the hell is your friend? To keep me waiting here? Like I'm one less busy person? Jobless? I'm asking you. Who the hell is your friend that I will come here to sit and wait for him? He's a governor. Even if he's a governor, what the hell is that? Listen to me, Dave. Tell your friend to stay clear. Me and my girl. I'm not joking. Let him stay clear. Else, I will bring him down. I do not give threats. It's a promise. I am Lady B. I do as I say. I have all the contacts, connections I need to bring him down. Whoever he might be, or maybe, I do not care. Tell him. I am not a roommate to you. I will strangle him, and that's a promise. Rubbish. Excuse me. <sighs> I'm concerned about Melvin. I'm very concerned about him. What is going on? Is he okay? 
Or did he change his mind or something came up? Oh, I pray it's okay. Just pray it's fine. Just pray it's fine. Just look at you. Take a good look at yourself. How do you feel? You feel good? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Look at you. You are so shameless. You allow a common guy, an identity, to deceive you. Really? A guy that will call for a meeting and abandon us at the meeting is that a human being? Is that one a somebody? Is that is, is that is, is that a man? That comes for a meeting and will not come for the meeting. Is it coordinated? No, of course. Ha, ah, Amanda, I pity you. You know why? Because your suffering is about to start. And he listened to me very attentively. If you leave this house, do not come back here again. Do not come back here again because I would not accept you here. Do you understand me? Before you take your stupid decision, think, think, think very well. Think. Don't think. Why do you keep us waiting? This was totally unfair on your own end. I and know, you know it. I know, I know. Sorry about that. Alright? I was um, held up in a meeting. And then on my way down there, I got stuck up in traffic. Before I got your message that she was um, angry and she left. And then I came straight to the house. Maybe she's not happy. Who cares? We'll just fix another meeting. I, I don't know. I just don't like that woman. I don't want to use the word hate, okay? But I don't like her. Mervyn, you're taking this too far. You are going too far. Um, meanwhile, um, you have to drop me off at my place. You, you know I didn't come out with my car. I'm so tired, man. So, so tired. It's all right, fine. You, you go on my own car. Never be funny. Okay, if I decide to go home with your car, who's going to return it back? How do you mean I'm being funny? You came out all because of me. I'm trying to return the favor. Somebody about to come to pick up the car. Just go with it. Okay. Well, before I leave, um, uh, do you have any whiskey, brandy? I hope you will not keep me waiting like the other time. I don't have such time to waste. I'm so sorry, lady. He's actually on his way now. He mm. just got off the meeting. He's just exercising with two patients. I've been here. I have things to do too. And my time is money. I don't talk with my time. No, he's on his way. Oh. I promise. Oh, thank goodness he's here. Oh, hey, I'm so sorry. The meeting took longer than I expected. <laughs> Oh, I hope everything went well. Of course, mm. the good thing is I'm here. That's <laughs> good. Oh, I'll meet my boss lady best.
Babe, mm -hmm. what the hell are you doing with my sister? Your sister? Yes, my sister. Le Lady Bess is your sister. What's going on here? <laughs> is, is this the client you were talking about? Uh, yes, Lady Bess. This is Melvin, Mr. Melvin, my my boyfriend. Lady what? She's she's my boss, Lady Best. Telling me that that lady that just left here is your boss. Yes, she's my boss, the one I've been telling you about. That's Lady Best. I am sorry. I didn't know your relationship with him. I came so we can talk things over. With who? You? <laughs> you know what? I regret now why I even helped you in the first place. Because you do not deserve it. You are so ungrateful. Listen to me. If you want peace in your life, if you love peace, Leave my brother alone. I do not want to see you around my house or around my brother. It's the only thing that means the whole world to me in this life. And I do not take his affairs for granted. Be warned. Lady B, I am sorry it is not possible. Even if I want to leave your brother, your brother will not want to leave me. Oh, really? Okay, fine. I'm speaking to you right now in peace. But it seems you do not like peace. <laughs> if you do not leave my brother alone in peace, you will leave him in pieces. I will make sure your flesh and your bones will be on the road scattered and you still feed them with your mouth. I will not warn you again. Get out. Get out! You disgust me. Ungraceful idiot. I, I came to discuss something with you, you vagabond. Daughter of a dope body. I picked from the gutters. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. You know, if someone had told me this about my sister, I wouldn't take it lightly with that person. I can't believe my own sister, my flesh and blood. Is involved in a business like this. She has always talked about you. I I know she's she has this strong connection with her brother, but I never knew it was you. I, di I didn't have the slightest idea that you were the one. How did my sister get you to do this? How did she convince you to work for her? I already told you everything. I have told you my story, and everything I told you is the truth. She should have helped you. She should have helped you. She had all it takes to help you instead of taking advantage of you. <sighs> she had all it takes to help you. She does, instead of taking advantage of you. She definitely has no explanation to this. I'm so disappointed, so pained. God.
What the hell are you doing here? I ask a question. What the hell are you doing here? You do not ask me what I am doing in your house. It is wrong. You are not welcome here. Alright? And I do not want to listen to whatever rubbish you have to say. So what the hell are you doing here? Melvin, I know that you are disappointed knowing the line of my business. I am not proud of it. But please, first thing first, that girl is not good for you. I won't let you marry her. Please. You call that business? Introducing girls to men and taking money on their behalf. That's what you call business. Right? What happened to importations? What happened to sales of cheap clothing that you told me you were into? I should have known better. Melvin, I, I will explain everything to you later. But for now, please chase that girl away. She's not good for you. You have no right to tell me who to marry or not. You're not in that position anymore. All right? You lost it. You know what? I'm done having this conversation. No. Melvin, you, you cannot work out on me. Melvin! Melvin! Is it? Oh, I recognize her. That's my daughter's friend. No. Uh -huh. Are you didn't come with my daughter? Please hold it, the old woman. Madam, hold your peace. I'm not here for chit chat, nor cost a visit. I'm here to give you a stern warning. Tell your daughter to stay clear, my brother. Stay clear. My brother, I'm not joking about it. I am lost here. I don't understand. Why should I want my daughter to stay clear your brother? Kidnap me, old woman. I can see that you've been in the dark for a while now, right? Uh, 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 please, you dare not come to my, to my house and insult my mother. Shut up! Jesus, shut your trap. Are you mad? Why would you come to my house to, 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 to slap my son and keep threatening us? One more word from you, you will, you will die in cell. Don't try me. Rubbish. I'll go to you, see a threat. Madam. Can you say what Your daughter. I picked her up from the gutters. The very dirty and ugly gutters. When she just saw her, I brushed her up, gave her a standard. Then she turned around. She can bite the fingers that fed her. Or mama, or cause her. Tell her I said, if she's not careful, Blood will flow. God forbid. That answer is a blood. Yes. All right. I mean, she is a prostitute. A cheap one for that matter. She works for me. She's one of my girls. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I will not allow my brother. My only brother to marry such a dirty thing. It will work. So, Bakuya, I will squeeze that life from her if she's not careful. Let her stay clear from my brother. It is it's not warning, it's a promise. Ah, say it. It's a boom, Wiki. But I raised. Mangona Lama. Chukwa Mangwe. My daughter told me. 
that she works in a company. Yes. That she's gamefully getting employed. Exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gamefully employed by me into Ashawahood. Yes. There's a school called Ashawahood. Oh, Bono. I'm on a grade 10. Ashawahood. On Eba Kono. Madam Imoma. I'm not joking. I will not come back here again. If I come back here again. <laughs> this lady came into our compound, I'm finished. I'm shouted finished. at I'm you, finished. slapped me, and is now calling my own sister. <laughs> Stop this thing you're doing now. Stop this thing you're doing. Why are you stressing yourself? <laughs> stop crying now, please. Go. You stop. Didn't you hear what that woman said? Didn't you hear her? I believe her because she has come here with your sister before. And my own daughter. One more of my own daughter. Hey, Jehovah. Now your sister is not working. And that she's trading her body for money. Men and I, we are paying men and father for to sleep with her. That money she brings to me. I thought I thought her better. I thought her to be virtuous. I thought her to be dependent on God, to pray, to, to, to wait on God, not to help God, not to help God, not to go ahead of God. Ma, you don't have to conclude. Mama, see, I have to believe that that lady is lying. Amanda can never do such a thing. I don't know who to believe again. I don't know who to believe again. Because that woman knows your sister very well. Call your sister. I need to hear her voice. I need to hear from her. Call her now. Let me hear from her. Let me hear from her. Oh, my God. Hey. Take it easy now. Take it easy now. Let me go. her. Just take it easy. Calm down, please. Hey. Hey. Let's change this all. Babe, how you doing? Huh? Babe, are you alright? Why are you like this? Did my sister come here? Is she the reason for this mood? Tell me. So I can go to her house right now and strike her. There's no point in do that. In as much as I want to be with you. I don't want to be the reason you will fall out with your sister. I don't have anything against her. But she has gone too far. Because we both have similar stories. But she went to my village to threaten my mother. What? And then she told her everything about what I do presently. My mother called me and she was crying. She told me how disappointed she was with me. No. No. I think she banned me from sending her money or taking care of her again. She shouldn't have done this. She shouldn't have. 
told us. Ah, God. She needs to understand the fact that nothing, I mean, no one can come between us. All right? I'm so sorry, darling. Mary, I'd rather leave you. What? I don't have anything against you, but this has gone too far. <sighs> Me, babe, you can't see this. You, you can't, you can't talk <sighs> like this. All right? You, you can't. Just. <sighs> you can't see that. All right? Together, we will go through this. Okay? I promise you, there's nothing anyone can do about this, about my feelings for you. I'm never leaving you. I'm never leaving you. No matter what you say or do, I will never leave Amanda. I mean, you should be ashamed of yourself. A poor girl came to you for help and all you could do was take advantage of her. I am so disappointed. So disappointed. You are so disappointed, you see. Oh yes, I am. Nice. Melvin. First of all, I did not force her to be part of me. Secondly, Melvin, I did everything I did because of you. I placed my life on hold just to satisfy you. I gave up everything because of you. This business this is the business I used to see you through school. Gave you a good life. This same business. Even after school. I gave you money to set up your company. From this same business. Do not judge me or condemn me. You don't do it. I am not married today because I chose not to. Just to give you a good life. Melvin, do not spit on my face. I didn't know about this. I mean, I know it was pretty difficult for you to see me through school. But this part of your life is what I never knew about. And it hurts me so bad. Like I said, it is my choice. I do not blame you nor anybody. But you should have stopped. You should have stopped. There was no need training more girls. No. I am capable of setting you up. I mean, starting up a business for you. And any business of your choice. Uh, I'm sorry if my words hurt you. I'm just saying my mind. <sighs> you are so right to say your mind. But the only thing this sister of yours wants for our dear brother is for him to make the right choice. <sighs> Melvin, I will not sit here and watch you destroy all I've worked for. You would not make the wrong choice. 
I will not allow it. I appreciate you for all you did for me in the past. But I think right now I'm man enough to know what is right and what is wrong for me. I'm man enough to make my choice. I have chosen Amanda. Now I need you to have a rethink about this. Babe. 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 Sorry, I have to leave this way. I had to go for peace to reign. I need to go back and face my mother. I know she must be so disappointed at me. Come on, babe. I need to go home and face her and apologize to her. You should have waited for me. I am really sorry. You should have waited for me. Please try and make peace with your sister. I guess we were Where never do I find meant her now? to be. Where? Mama, mama, mama. Mama, mama. My family they suffer, we suffer past my sofa. If I say make I hustle, they go tell me bring my body. Jay, I don't tire, I don't suffer. Legit work, you no creep me. My family they there, they still they suffer. So I Mama, please, I'm sorry. Mama, please forgive me. <laughs> I didn't mean to disappoint you. I didn't mean to cause you... cause you pain. Please forgive me. Amanda. Mama. Did you do it? I'm sorry. You're not even going to deny it. <laughs> I thought you were going to disappoint me. <laughs> so this is what you have been doing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Rejoicing, thanking God that my daughter is now working. I didn't know you were in the city sleeping with men for money. How could you debase yourself so much? I'm sorry. How could you remove your pride of a woman and throw it to the dog? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to do you this way. I didn't mean to bring shape to you. Amanda, why? I was frustrated. I was frustrated and I didn't have any option again. It was the only available option. 
Amanda. <laughs> so she was the only Amanda was managing with the little we have. I didn't put you in any kind of pressure. It was not even mandatory or compulsory for you to take care of. Obiaz and I were okay the way we found ourselves. We had our dignity and integrity intact. How can you drag us to the mud like this? How can you do this to me? How can you take away my pride from me? Oh, I did oh. meet. I did meet. Oh. <laughs> I, I met I met the wrong person. I fell into the wrong hands. I I listened to a wrong advice. I listened to the wrong advice. Amanda, I'm so disappointed at you. How could you? I raised you well. <laughs> if I did not give you anything, I gave you your pride. <laughs> did you better? How could you allow a stranger to influence you like this? <laughs> you should have advised yourself better. You know the, you know the difference between wrong and right. You didn't go to the city a baby. You went to the city a full-grown woman. You should have taken the right decisions and a I stuck to it. It was a shame. We suffered past my sofa. If I say make a house, they go tell me bring my body. Jay, I don't tire. I don't suffer. Till you walk, you no grip in me. My family dead, they are they still the suffer. So I enter street to make them quick. Forgive me, mama. I don't want to listen to no no. I say make a house, no no. Can't you stand if I for you listen no no? Forgive me, mama. I don't want to listen to you. You're crying. You've been crying ever since yesterday. You got back. Sister, all you need right now is to go to Mama and settle things out. Mama has been moody ever since she heard about your act. She doesn't want to listen to me. She doesn't want to talk to me or look at me. She's so ashamed of me. I can't even face her. All I ever wanted to do was to make her happy. But I ended up causing her more pain. But it is not your fault. <laughs> yes. It is not your fault. I know you are blaming yourself all because we sold the land just to take you to school. Come on. I so, love you too, too much. I know. You've done your best. You two are my world. All I ever wanted to do was take care of you. I wanted to make you... I wanted to give you two a good life. That was all I wanted to do to make sure you two had a good life. I didn't mean to bring you shame. I didn't mean to bring you shame. But sister, you did your best. You did your best. Just stop crying, please. I believe good jobs, better things are going to come. Let's forget about the past, please. Come on. Just stop crying, please. Be good. I'm sorry. 
I am sorry I disappointed you. I am sorry I brought you shame. I can't even look at you. I feel so ashamed of myself. I feel so ashamed of myself. I am so... I am so... It is okay. Everything will be fine. Yes, I made the supply last week. I remember that. How, how can that be? It's not possible. Hi, darling. Listen, I'll have to call you back in five minutes. Thank you. Hi. What are you doing here? Are you not happy to see me? Leave my house now. B. Before I do something very silly to you. Get out of my house. Babe. Why are you doing this to us? Why am I doing this to who? To the both of us. Us? Not very silly. Get out of my house. Now! Get out! Babe. I said get out. Babe. Get out! Outside. I told you your brother does not want me anymore. But you insisted I go there. You have to pay me for the stress. Of course. I know that you are in all those things because of the money. If you had remained faithful to my brother. I do not think he would have left you to go meet that idiot of a girl. <laughs> you know you can't come here and tell me how to live my life. To hell with you. To hell with your brother. How is it my fault that your brother does not know good things? Well, before I forget, Please send me my money into my account. Thank you. Have a nice day. Just imagine this, this riffraff. This idiot. It's not your fault. I blame my brother for putting me through this kind of stress. This, this, this uncensored stress. See, there is nothing anyone can do about this, since that is what you want. You know, you're a man and nobody will tell you what you want. You have every right to your own choice of woman you want to be with. It's okay, there's no problem. Um, I support you, my good friend. I'm with you all the way. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
The thing there is, I, I won't see her. But then I do not know where to find her. That shouldn't be a problem. You know, I know my way around this routine. <laughs> well, don't worry, I'll call Lizzie. Should be able to tell me a way about where I can find her, please. Address. Thank you very much for that. I really need to see her. I mean, I have fallen in love with this girl. Yes. You have been your lover, boy. <laughs> My man. Well, it's okay. I admire your courage, my good friend. You know what? You're a good getter. You always go for what you want. And that is one good thing I admire about you, my good friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, like I said, uh, there are good girls among them. You understand? And she has proven otherwise to be a good person, so... Our past is our past and this is the present. The present begets the future, so hopefully she will make a great impact in your life. You're right. Yeah. Uh, come on, bro. Cheer up. Let's go out and break some legs. <laughs> yeah, let me get you uh, one or two bottles, you know, to, to make you feel lively. Yeah, to cheer you up. You're good, right? I thought you will work for Lizzie. And she uses you girls for her personal wrongs, right? No, ma. Lizzie has succeeded in stealing all your clients. She has three properties in this estate. We are staying in one of the house. She just recently acquired a car worth 35 million. What? Lizzie! Hold on. <laughs> Lizzie does all these things behind my back? Yes. <sighs> and you? Why are you telling me all this now? Because she is wicked. She wants only her to succeed and no other. You have to be very careful around her. Mm. Of course. Thank you. Anytime. Take this. Hold this for me. Of course. Thank you. Oh, Lady B, you Lady B for a reason. Ah, you're the best. All this for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Oh my God. Thank you. Ah, very much. Thank you. Okay, just be careful, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going. So your plan with Amanda is to betray me. Me, Lady Best. <laughs> you know my people say something. When you brought you so, or when we are also, girls are chicken fries. Unero, unamoma, unarich. Lady Best, hold it there. Hold it. Yes. You sound like you hold us. Or our life depends on you. No. <laughs> Don't forget. I am no longer your sovereign. Yes, you heard me. You are evil. Jesus Christ. Amanda was one of your first girl. <sighs> you even prefer her to me. Me, Lizzie. Lady Best, you look me from air to toe finish. You prefer Amanda to me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even surprised because... Sometimes I, I get jealous. I come very close to you. I try as much as I can to be very close to you, but yet nothing comes out. But then, 
My question is, why don't you want Amanda to get married to your only brother? Why? First of all, I do not owe you any explanations. Secondly, it is none of your business. But for formality's sake, Amanda would not read my lips. She would not marry my brother. You know why? Because she would destroy him. You are wicked. Lady Best, you are evil. Jesus! Wait a minute. Are you saying we are not good? Like, there's nothing good in us? The only thing you know is how to use us to make money for you because you want to be wet? Because you, you don't want to be dry? My God will punish you. Yes. And it has started already. Are you stupid? In my house? Are you mad? Are you mad? How dare you? Are you mad? Are you crazy? Lady Best, my woman, you are not where. Are they respecting? No, me no respect your old days. You are not where. I guess cause cough. If you look her, if you look the piercing, you never notice her. Notice her where? You don't crest. And they respect you. No, respect yourself. Every time I want to be horny, I want to be horny. Dry kill you. They go dry for this one. Go punish you. They Chris. Mama, mama, mama. Mama, mama, mama. My family they suffer. We suffer past my sofa. If I say make a house, they go tell me bring my body. Jay, I don't tire, I don't suffer. Legit walk, be no creeping me. My family, they, they, they still they suffer. So I enter street to make them quick. Forgive me, mama. I'll dance me for the mess, no, no. I say make a house on a no Can't you tell me for for you listening or no Forgive me mama I'll tell her me for the mess no no I say make a house on a no Can't you tell me for for you listening or no I no want all this I no want street life I no want to use my body just money But condition come worse I enter the street now I am back please forgive me mama I no want all this I no want street life I no want to use my body just money But condition come worse Thank you. I am so sorry. I am so sorry I disappointed you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. Please. It's okay. I have forgiven you. I know whatever you did, you did because of us. Our demands, our wants, pushed into whatever that happened. I'm not going to judge you. I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I promise to make you proud. No. I love my family. I love you, sister. I love you too. Mama, you know I love you. And I love you. I'm happy I have my family back. Yes. I have my daughter back. Sister, not to worry. I know a good job will come to you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. I love you too so much. And we love you. You two are my source of happiness. You are my world. I can't even imagine a world without the two of you. And we love you so much. I love, I love you too. You. I love you. I just want you to be on the right track. I will. 
I remember. I don't want us going back and forth, back and forth. Just be in God and remain in God. I've, I've learned my lessons. Okay, let me cut. I can cut it now. Finny cut now? Mama, oh, Mama. Hmm? Why is this boy always at home? Uh -huh. Because with the rate at which he comes back home, he will end up not graduating with his mates. Uh -uh. Every time you are here, what are you doing in the village? I'm mama? coming to uh, take care of Mama now. Obvious, are you wrong? Take care of his Mama. Or are you came to suck breast? Sort yeah. yourself. She's asking you now. Sort yourself. You came to take care of which mama? The mama asks you to come and take care of her. Mama cannot stay alone in this house. Mm. Uh. Mama, because speak for yourself. Can you stay alone? How long time be staying alone before I get back to you? <laughs> <laughs> when he will come, just pull out all the meat in the soup and eat. And tell me in school, he's not eating well. Mama. Um, Papa? Uh -huh. Uncle, while we are at it, since you like staying at home, you'll be fixing everything that needs to be fixed in this house. Make sure you fix this thing. What was software engineer? Software. Oh, software. Oh, software. Okay. I'm not a carpenter engineer. <laughs> Lady B, what's your take on all of this? Because you are aware of the matter on ground. So what's your take? Lady Best, you're complicating issues here. You're making things so difficult here. Well, I don't have any take in all of this. I don't know what to say. But my advice is, allow Mervyn to make his choice and let him live by it, please. But how can you say something like this? How does this sound to you? How does it sound to you hearing? Lady B, fine. We all know this girl, she used to be your girl before. She worked for you. But truth be told, I get time before. No be for party. Yes. Listen, okay? Allow Mervyn to make his choice and let him live by it. Alright? I know you detest this girl so much because your brother is in love with her. But please, I beg you. Do not push your brother to the point that it will break the bond the both of you share as siblings. Please, don't. Don't push him to the wall. Please. Um, Dave, I see that you're not useful to me. You cannot help me in all of this. So please, get out of my car. Lady B. Get out, please. I should leave your car. Yes, please. Well, before I leave, I want to drop my candid advice with you. Please, allow your brother Melvin to breathe. Let him breathe. They're in love. And I'm sure you know what that means. Allow the young man to make his choice and live by it. Excuse me. Look at this idiot. Spewing rubbish. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome. Hey. I'm trying my best. Mama, no. good day. Welcome, Mom. Thank you very much. Did you like it? Yes, Mama. No, my God. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey. I had to come this early, you know? <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. Too. Take him inside before you name me. See you. Ah, I'm coming inside. Oh. All right, Mama. Yeah. 
See, Mama, what is it? Amanda, I don't have any problem with the young man. But that lady that came here that day, it doesn't look as if she's joking. It doesn't look as if she wants peace. She wants war. She doesn't want any kind of peace. Don't worry, there will be no problem. She'll get used to things. You know, it sounds very easy to you because you're a younger person. But as an elder one, I'm telling you that if you cannot stand her, that she's going to hurt you, leave this young man alone. She is ready to go all the way to hurt you. Oh, Mama, you just said you approve of him. Just, I don't want anything to happen to you. You and your brother are all I have. I don't want to lose any of you. Mama, you worry too much. Yeah, because I'm a mother, I am no, concerned. Mama, listen to me. Nothing will happen. Like I said, she will get used to things. She will get used to it. It's eh? okay if you Mama. if you say so. Me, yeah, I'm just just be careful. I know. I'm concerned. I know. You're just being my sweet mother. <laughs> Mama, don't worry. Everything will be fine. You know, I know you. When you love, it is all the love, love, love. You don't want to care about the consequences Mama, and all Bob that. Mama, Melvin is a wonderful person. You said so yourself. And I love him. Come on, friends. They're looking for us. I am um, I, I am assuring you that I would um, make sure I set her up when we get back to the city in a way that she'll be so busy to get back to that life. How? Mm? Yes, ma'am. My son, mm -hmm. God will bless you. Thank I'll you. I'll be very happy if you fulfill this promise you just made to me now. Amen. And uh, not just that, Mama. As soon as I get back, I will inform my people to start getting ready. Oh. And I'll also let you know when to inform your people so we can come here and perform the marriage rites. Oh! Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's all right, Mama. Thank you so much. It's all right, Mama. Thank you. You're a good man. <laughs> Please take good care of her. Of course, I will. Please. Of course, of course, I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will take care of her. Mama. Mama. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. <laughs> you take care of yourself. I will. And you too, eh? Life is changing. Oh. It is. So you have to be more careful now. I will. And live a better life. I will. Take care of you. You know, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Mama, it was actually nice seeing you, huh? I'm glad I did. My pleasure, Mama. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll see you some other time, Mama. Well, bye bye. Oh. Yes. Safe journey. Bye bye. Can we see what a normal child will think? Hey! Nah, bye bye, no! Bye bye, mama. Ow, mama. Hey! I took a tap by that tree and oh, mama. Hey! My mother is very very concerned about your sister. She's scared of her. She should be. You know she came here to threaten her. Though I told her everything is okay now, I told her she won't be a problem anymore. Don't worry, she will come around. I understand her feelings. All right? This whole thing, I just feel used. I feel so bad because if your sister could detest me like this, if she feels I'm not good enough for you, that means I'm not good enough for anyone. And everything she ever told me was a lie. The truth is, I fault her for putting you on the wrong path. We're too good. The most important thing is I have you, and you've got me. Okay? I love you. And I love you more. Hmm? Don't worry. Let's go. I like his yellow dress. Mm, I like it too. And his dreads too. 
Mm -hmm. Do you want to make it? What rubbish? Melvin, did that choose this dead thing over me? Are you talking about the same thing you've been using to make money? The same thing you've been using to acquire wealth for yourself. Remember? Please sit so we can have a decent conversation. I'm not here to sit and discuss nonsense. Melvin. Yep. I took good care of you. Like every sister should have. <laughs> I put my life on a standstill because of you. When my parents died, I left myself and took you in because I want to give you the best. Melvin. I did everything for you. I saw you through school. I made sure you had the best. Melvin, oh no. I won't let you destroy everything I've worked for. I won't let you. First off, She's not a thing. <laughs> Alright? She's human. And I love her just the way she is. Don't forget I know the story. And I am willing to stand by her. Listen, I called you out here so we can have a decent conversation like family. But it's obvious you're not ready to calm down and have a, a talk with me. So, um, it's fine. It's fine for you to leave and come back whenever you can so we can talk about this decently, calmly, and not like this. Lady B, please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I didn't plan for any of this to happen. I didn't even know he was your brother. We met each other and we fell in love and he has brought a great change to my life. Daddy B, please. Nobody planned this. Can't you see that this is divine? SHUT! Oh! What is divine? I will slap out that thing from your mouth. You twat. I will not have that in my house. Please. Alright? You need to calm down. Calm down so we can have a decent conversation. Or better say you leave. When you're ready, you come back and then we can talk about this. Alright? But please don't talk about slapping her. I won't have you do that. Melvin. Yes, sis. Big you, sis. You chose this thing over me. She's not a thing. You insult me because of this thing. I never insulted you. You embarrassed me because of the slot. I did not embarrass you. That's, that's your charm. That thing you made to control my brother. That man that made it for you. Wherever you got that charm from, go and tell them that I am the antidote to that charm. I can all my work. In Moma. <laughs> I know how to deal with your lax. 
you are too small. You are a small fly. I will fry you and throw you to the wind to blow away. If you do not leave my brother in peace, no, you will live in pieces. I do not do threat. It is a promise. You stupid, dirty thing from the goddess. Melvin. No. <laughs> Melvin, I know what to do. Do not worry, my brother. Bye, big sis. Hey, hey, babe. Don't bother yourself with that. Alright? Don't bother yourself with that. It's alright. She can't do jack. Why are you here? I am sorry, Lady B, but I need to talk to you. Lady B, I see you as a benefactor. One who introduced me into this business. I remember what you said to me when I came in here newly. You said if I am lucky, I might meet my husband through this business. And now I met someone. And you are not happy. So I want to ask you, when you said those words to me, were you just saying it to deceive me? so you can make money with me? Or did you mean that? You are spinning rubbish. You are talking gibberish. Nonsense. Baldash. Lady B, when I met you, you told me this business will either make me nor mommy. Fortunately for me, this business is about to make me. I met your brother. And we fell in love with each other. And I can remember very well that when I met your brother, he paid you in full everything you are owed. Everything that is supposed to be paid to you was paid to you in full. I did not just go to him. You were the one who arranged me for him. Lady B, I met you and I told you my story. And you told me yours. You said we have similar stories. And you promised to help me. Now God has shown light on me. And you think I am not good enough for your brother. If you think I am not good enough for your brother, then I am not good enough for any man. And I want to ask you again, how did I wrong you? If you're done with your nonsense, use the door. I am done. 
truth. You think you can come here to blackmail me with your stupid emotional tantrums? You must be joking. Idiot. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. I used to see this kind of drama and revelation in Hollywood movies. Yes. That's where I used to see them. I never believed such a thing can happen in real life. Hmm. This is more complicated than I thought. Very complicated. You see, I don't know why she won't let me be with this girl. She deceived her into this business and now she detests her so much. Well, um, <clears throat> Melvin, such is life. Such is life. Everyone always go for the best. Nobody likes settling for less. You know, she should allow you both to be... She allow you both to enjoy yourself. You know, I used to think you're not serious before. I thought maybe you're still playing around. But now I can see the connection between you both. Now I know you're serious. You both deserve each other. Bro, you have got my support. I'm right behind you. Okay? I hope she'll calm down soon. Yeah, I mean, I understand her fears, but... I just can't comprehend. Well, I believe she will. She'll come down. She'll come to terms with um, the way things are already. Um, yeah, she will. She will come down. Yeah, she will allow things be, especially now that um, Amanda is with you. She has no choice now to come down and allow you both enjoy yourself. Thank you very much, bro. You're welcome. So, what's up? <laughs> Baby. How are you doing? Hi. All right. How was your day? Good. Mm -hmm. What is this? <laughs> It's not in I. Fine, Percy. Why are you not looking so happy? What happened? Nothing I can't handle. Alright? Babes. How was your day? Like I said. My day was fine, I guess. Okay. Well then, I believe this would make you happy. It would change your mood. What's in there? What? Babe, you're pregnant. Yes, I am. Oh my God. Like, this is the best news I've had in a long while. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm going to be a father. Yes, baby, you're going to be a father. <laughs> this, this simply means we have to hurry up with the wedding plans. I mean, I can't wait to hold your hand and walk down the ah. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, baby, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you too. Ah. Thank you for all the things you've done for me. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you for the peace, for the love, for the positivity. I think I should be the one thanking you for restoring happiness in my life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you today. I love you tomorrow. And I love you forever. No, I love you forever. <laughs> I love you so much, baby. Love you too, cause my heart and yours have bonded. I say my heart and yours have bonded. I don't care what to do, all I know you've captured my heart and we've bonded. Babe. Yes, you see, now that there is um, so much tension on the ground, I would like to do the needful. Remember, I told my mother I'll be coming back. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want you to inform her that I'll be coming with my people to do the needful. That's the marriage right. After which we move ahead to the wedding proper. Hmm? Whatever you want to do is okay by me, baby. All I want is to be with you. Same here. Unless I forget. After our wedding, I will go. Um, want us to move to a better place. I just want peace for you and our baby. Hmm? Are you serious? Of course, yes. I am serious. Thank you so much, baby. I appreciate. We appreciate. I appreciate you too, darling. Thank you. Same here. How can I be in the same city with my brother and I cannot even see him? Because of that, that stupid girl. I miss my brother so much. It's so quiet and peaceful out here. Yeah, true. I love the serene. It's um accommodating. Um Melvin. Yo. Do you know one thing? I'm I'm worried about you. So worried about you. Worried. <laughs> Why? Why are you worried about me? Look at you. Your love life is a mess. Like, 
it's not too late to have a family. It's not too late to find a good wife and start up a family, is it? You're not married either. Well, true, but maybe I choose not to. I'm a woman, but you are a man. You should keep up the legacy of this family. Fine. I'll see to that. Please. Do. Or oh, I'll just go to all this remote place and, and, and then find you and make it tomorrow. <laughs> It's funny. Because I'll get you a wife and I'm going to get married. My wife must be classy. Mm. Alright? Mm. I see. My wife must be classy. The same classes that put you in this mood. Classy. Oh God, go and look for one and make and marry. You know, the one that I had to stay one place. All these classy people will just put you in trouble. You don't know. Why and break it? Or if you don't want, I'll just go myself and search for you. So I'm your sister. What a sister for? If not inconveniences. <laughs> have you noticed something about my shoes? I have about 20 pairs of them. Maybe you cannot distract me. Okay? Capiche? Go get married. Stop wearing all this cap looking like one senator. No, or not. Is that okay? Smile. I have to fight to get my brother back. Baby, really, you are spoiling us. That's what I live for, <laughs> right? Exactly. What I live for. I can't wait to see my child. <laughs> I mean, the feeling is different. Yes, a level of responsibility is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but baby, I'm just three months gone and you've gotten more than enough for us. I've not started yet. Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> I will spoil you to silly. Oh, God. You don't know me. Mm. Huh? That reminds me, babe. I, I want you to travel out there. And then... Um, Rest until the child is born. And uh, I want you a moment. Marvin's house, am I? Did Marvin, did Marvin leave this house without telling me? He moved out. Property for sale or rent. How? I'm trying to call him now. Ah, did he block me also? I just understand. What's happening here?
Thank you for honoring my call. You're welcome. Where'd you be? It's been a while, you know. How have you been? To what do I owe this call? Um... It's Melvin. What about Melvin, huh? I went to his house and I saw that he's moved out. I, I don't know. Um, the truth is I've not been around for a while now. I just got back. I called him for a hangout and he told me he has moved out of his house. So you're not far from the truth. He has moved out. Please, I need your help. I need to see my brother. We actually lost communications for the past few months now and then it's not been easy with me. I need to talk to my brother, please. <laughs> Uh, did you say you need my help? Yes. No, but seriously, I... Uh, back then, I I told you to see reason with me. You know, I tried making you to see reason, but you, you didn't. Oh, now you need my help. It's okay. Um, I told you. Take it easy with this man. You refused. I told you this young man was in love. That you should not do anything that break the bond between you and your sibling. But you didn't listen. Allow the young man to grow. Let him express himself. You refused. You see it? I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. Yeah, um, I regret it now. But please, I need to speak to my brother. Please. Let it be. I'll, I'll do my best, okay? I'll, I'll talk to Melvin. Uh, there's no point to you both um, continuing this field. It's not necessary, okay? Um, I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Go ahead, don't drink, man. So, how is life? How is business? Yes, darling. I think you should go and see your sister. Don't you think it's high time we all lived together as one big happy family? Well, I want that actually. But my fear is her reactions to it. I think she'll be happy to see you. She'll be happy to see you. Baby, you need to see her. You need to go and see her. She's still your sister. <laughs> Please. Anything for you, darling. Hmm? <laughs> First thing tomorrow morning, I'll, um, I'll go see my sister. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. I'm sorry. That didn't come out well. It's supposed to be. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know I love you too. Mm -hmm. And I love my little princess. Um, we are not sure if it's going to be a princess or a prince. But I would prefer a prince. No. Mm -hmm. A princess. No. A princess. A boy. A girl. Mommy's boy. Daddy's girl. No. Mommy's boy. Daddy's girl. Mommy's boy. Daddy's girl. Mm. Baby. I am winning this. Mommy's boy. Don't, don't, don't. I give up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> i 
think I'm gonna leave you Yo, I do want to have to And my choice is fine You see, I'm... I'm so sorry Alright? I was just a young man in love And I knew I was doing the right thing I did it intentionally avoid you because um, I wanted to hurt your feelings. But because I wanted to give you space, I knew you would um, adjust with time. It's fine, my brother. I only wanted the best thing. I didn't mean no harm. I'm sorry for everything I did. You know. I'm happy that you're back now. I'm so happy you're back now. And please, I... I need to see Amanda. I owe her an apology. I do not have any right to have treated her that way. It's so alright, that um, can be arranged. <coughs> Meanwhile, um, sis, I want you to think of um, any business of your choice. Whatever it is that comes to your head. All you want to do, just name it. I want to fund you. Alright, at least for what you did for me in the past. I want to sponsor you. I want to support you. Heavily. Because I want you to stop all those rubbish business you've been, um, been doing with girls. It doesn't suit you, it doesn't suit us. We need to get this family together. All right? Thank you, my brother. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You know, I... I've stopped the business after the whole incident. I, I got betrayed by one of my girls, Lizzy. And then she moved out of the house. You know, she was mad with me because of the way I treated Amanda. So after she left, I dismissed the other girls. And since that time, I've been in my own world, just on my own. No. <laughs> you cannot be on your own. I'm here for you. All right? And I'll be here for you. Forever. Okay? I'm going to miss you. I miss you. I wish to inform you that we have settled our differences and um, the bond is back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, my darling, please forgive me. I'm very sorry for the way I treated you. I didn't have such right to do that. I was just being selfish, you know, looking at my brother, but I was wrong. Please, kindly forgive me. There is nothing to forgive. Because it's nothing. I completely understand that you were trying to protect your brother. The truth is, I still hold you in high esteem and I hold no grudge against you from the bottom of my heart because my happiness is tied to you. 
Lady B, if I had not met you, if you had not taken me in, I wouldn't have met the best man in the world, my husband. I wouldn't have been this happy. So I have you to thank, and also the almighty God, for making all this possible. So there is absolutely nothing to apologize for. You're such an angel. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are the best. Lady Best. Thank you. No, stop saying thank you. I should really want to say thank you. You look so beautiful. <laughs> there is this, this dance. <laughs> this this shiny look comes. There's, there's, there's something growing somewhere, maybe like a body in the oven. Am, am, am I right? Am I? <laughs> oh my goodness! Like I'm, I'm so right. Yes, ah, we have to do a shopkeeper. Ah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be an auntie. Thank you so much. My heart is your yeah. Yeah. Together forever Nothing can separate us Cause we are so strong If they can beat us they will join us baby. Your love is calling me And I got to answer the call Then I make you mine Together forever hey, Cause we is already bonded, bonded. I will make you mine, and I'll never leave you. We are bonded, oh. we are bonded. Oh. Don't think I'm gonna leave you. You are the one I have to. And my choice is fine now. No one's gonna question it. Woman, and you've shown me 